one. Hello, Veldek. Um, today we start a new challenge. All right. New game. So, like I said, we were we are going to do a death world. A death world, but um. But there is going to be some limitations. Um, so I titled this uh, the bullet only death world. But I'm not sure if that's going to be exactly true. Uh, but mostly I just want to play with things that I never played with before. Which is the nuclear ammo. I never built this in the game. And I never used the combat robots either. That was like um, looking at the combat robots. They are actually using not only the... The bullets, right? The uh, the defender capsule, I think, is the only one that is doing the physical damage. But then there is a uh, the destroyer. That's the last one, right? It's doing the electric damage, and the one in the middle does the uh, energy damage, I think. I'm not sure. Might just allow the destroyers and like the second tier um, combat bots too. Other than that, it's going to be the turrets only and then pistol, assault rifle, shotgun, I guess. It's going to be a fun thing to use too. Maybe combat shotgun is going to be useful in this playthrough. No idea. Piercing shotgun shells, I never used those. Uh, the... Um, the tank is uh, shooting with cannon shells. Those things also do physical damage. So, like, even although they're doing explosion in addition. Um, I don't know. Like, originally I was thinking about this challenge as, like, physical damage only, basically. So, if this is physical, then it is allowed. But, I don't know. What about poison capsules? Poison capsules are also, like, weird. I don't know. Uh, we can... I mean, but 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 then like, th then we can also allow rockets and other things. I don't know. Uh, w w why why should we allow too many things? I don't know. I'm I'm actually like considering still doing just the physical damage only, which means that only the defender capsule. I like I wanted to play around with the distractors and destroyers, but I don't know. Poison capsules. I already tried those. I already know how they work. Right. I guess the slowdown capsule doesn't do any damage. This is going to be loud then. Right. Mm. Poison capsule can be used to destroy trees. Maybe. Alright, anyway. There's going to be a death world. Where we don't use... It's mo mostly about not using the flamethrower and uh, and the landmines, right? Maybe, like, like how do I call this challenge, though, then? If we just disallow the flamethrowers and landmines. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, so Death World. And also, uh, this map looks good. Or thinking about doing the desert. So, yeah, why not? The desert. Let's make sure that the water is even less. Because why not? No OP weapons, Death World. I don't know, that's like... Who like who decides what is OP? Because from what I understand, the, uh, the nuclear... The uh, uranium ammo is also OP. I just, never I just never used it before. And maybe the uh, destroyers are also OP. I don't know. I just never tried them. Maybe combat shotgun is OP. Who knows? I also need to figure out what is the uh, goal for this run. I think I want to do a little more than just a rocket. Alright, other type settings, default. Um, considering uh, doing 
I don't know, let's let's reduce the trees too. To make it proper desert. And uh what else? What else? The ore patches. I kinda like them to be um less frequent, I think. Especially if we're going to go past the rocket. Um, if we do 33% of everything. Dum -dum. I'm not sure. Should I leave it at 100%? If I increase the size... Does it increase the starting orb uh, patches size too? It does. Alright. So for that reason I don't want to touch the size or richness. I want the uh, starting resources to be like the default. I don't know. Let's, let's not touch anything. Whatever. All right. So once again, a death world, desert, no flamethrowers, and landmines. Also, one more thing that I forgot to tell is um, another thing that is OP, right? No OP weapons death world, you say. Another thing that is OP in this game is building. So I also want one other thing to be limited. I should not be able to build anything near biter. So whenever there is an enemy near me, I'm not allowed to build anything. And also fish. Fish is also OP, right? Anything else that I forgot about? We should write the uh, rules down. Hold on. Rules. No fish. Do, 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 do. No flamethrower. Hold on. Why is it so hard to make these things? There you go. These are the rules. In case anyone asks. <laughs> oh, I could use a, uh, a command. Yeah, that's right. Hold on. Let's do that instead. <laughs> Alright, we're going to start in a second here. Also, still the six one thousand. Mm hmm. 
Also added rules to the title of the stream. Okay, sure. Okay, there you go. That's good. Okay. Uh, do we like this seed? I didn't take a look at the seed. So, like, the oil for this challenge, whether or not it's close or not, doesn't really matter, right? The oil is only going to be used for the research, uh, not for the flamethrower ammo, because we're not going to use the flamethrowers. Um, so, it doesn't matter much. What should I look for? The... Uh, Uh, the iron is obviously the thing that I will need. Dun, 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 dun. No, I think I think that seed was good. Just finding a desert is. A bunch of clicks. Oh shit. Oh, there you go. Is that a desert? That we like? I think that city is harder because I see only one ore patch nearby. Okay, whatever. Uh, should be good, right? We're ready to start? Let's start. Death world, and the only change that I did is uh, the coverage of water to the minimum and the coverage of trees to the minimum. Just because. Do you want anything else? The cliffs? Nah. Whatever. Oh, uranium. Yeah, I forgot that I need to see for uranium, right? This is basically going to be the race until the uranium ammo. Uh, and then the usual, you race until the flamethrowers. Yeah. Alright, let's just play this. Uh, the beginning is obviously going to be the same as in the normal playthrough. Uh, so how how long does it take for the biters to evolve into the big biters? Actually, you know that. I'm pretty sure we are racing against the big biters, not against the behemoths. Behemoths they take a long time, right? It's just I need to be able to kill the big biters. And the big biters, we can deal with them with red ammo and a couple of damage upgrades, right? Uh, fish, I'm not going to take that. Fish is not allowed here. The previous seed was better, the one that I was looking at, because we didn't have the mixed ore patches. Alright, that's going to be fun. Alright, it's not lazy bastard I will craft things. Two. All right, a first miner on the iron, the second miner on the coal. Um, what else? Let's take, let's make everything visible here. Mostly the pollution, the pollution is going to spread pretty fast because we are in the desert. We're going to need to send and make a priority on the ammo, I'm pretty sure. All of this iron. How much iron is this even? It's only 300,000. Is that less or about the same as the normal amount of the starting iron? A little bit of the of this was eaten by the stone and the copper. Oh, the oil is directly in the in the in the beginning here. Okay. 
It doesn't matter though, like I said. It's not not, not using it for flamethrowers, so it doesn't matter, right? Alright, I'm just going to connect, collect a little bit of wood for the power poles. I think I did not see any more big rocks, yeah. No huge rocks, I mean... Those that give you... The coal... Alright, and a little bit of copper too. <clears throat> okay. Uh, now we just wait until we upgrade to the electric mining drills, I think. So, offshore pump. A boiler. Steam engine, couple power poles, Alright, this is going to be the 20 boilers that we need. Okay, the first electric mine drill, I'm going to put that on, on the coal. Uh, this is the closest thing to the biters also. Second one. It's going on the iron, obviously. Hmm. 
Mm, I'm almost polluting them already. Alright, we need to research the gun turret. I guess this is the first research that we're going to do. Gun turret. I just need a little bit more. 20. This is the science packs. Okay, sure. Uh, send specs, and then I also need the lab, so 36 and 15, okay. A lab and 10 science packs, okay. Mm. I'll get rid of one of these. Put it on on the coal, I need a little more coal. Well, I mean, or actually, you know what, I don't need those at all. Burning mining drills, they're not needed. Hmm. What are these cheap research numbers? <laughs> yeah, that's how the game is supposed to be played, apparently. The only question is, are we launching the rocket today, or is it going to be tomorrow? I guess. Or are we going to be distracted and the base is going to be destroyed without those flamethrowers? That's another possibility, I guess. Then we will need to restart. Okay. Rocket will be on Friday on third attempt. <laughs> no, no, no. We are one. Uh, we are doing this on the first try. I'm pretty sure this challenge is not that hard, right? All we need to do is to make a wall of turrets, right? Or maybe a wall of two turrets. You know, like the double wall of turrets. That should be enough, right? Alright, this is enough. For now... Alright, the gun turret is here. Uh, which means that I should start crafting those. I need to increase my iron production. That's the first thing. We'll need to spend a lot of iron on... Am I polluting them? Not yet, right? Alright, um, more iron. Over here.
No mineable resources. Okay. I'm just like trying to take away this little... Edges of iron. I can hand mine this 15. It's okay. We are done to waiting in this game. Like mining, hand mining 15 iron ores. That's like nothing, right? Um, okay, maybe maybe now I should at least make one gun turret. I should make... Um, yeah, at least one to protect this. One to protect that. One to protect that. So I want three. One, two... Three. All right, and then a little bit of ammo in each of them. All right. Um, I can research next. The automation, yeah, sure, we can go directly there. Okay, protect the power. Protect the coal. And then I will protect this here. They are coming from the bottom. Most likely, yep. Okay, uh, when the automation is researched, we start automatically crafting a bunch of turrets and a bunch of ammo. That's the first thing. We need to, we need to have the wall immediately. So, like, because I cannot... One of the rules is the no building near biters. That's to prevent the... Can you punch nest to death? Not in this one, not in the death world, because they are bigger. If there was only like two of them, then yes, but also no fish is, is allowed in this run. So, so I will have to re respawn. Oh, here's another thing that I, for, that I remember now. Whenever I die, it means that... Uh, all right, respawning is OP basically, so we need to nerf that too. Let me add one more rule to the to the list of rules. And the rule is, if I die, it's not hardcore, so I would not need to restart completely from scratch. But I'm not allowed to take the items from my body, basically. That's the rule. Okay. In case I die. <clears throat> Items lost on death. -da 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 -da. Uh, 
Because why not? Right? Alright, automation is going to be researched in a second. I'm just coming here to refill my boilers. I am definitely polluting them. Alright, hopefully the first attack is not going to be the huge attack and the one single gun turret is going to be enough. Hopefully. Uh, Alright. It is about to be researched, so... Let's do five assembly machines, yeah sure. So the um, first thing that is going to be automated is... The... Um, the gun turrets and the ammo. Alright, so let's make them somewhere around here. The gun turret is uh, iron plate, copper, and iron gear. Wheel. So we do that, and then we do that, and we do that, and then we have the uh, iron and copper uh, to be over here, and that should be enough. Right? So the top is going to be the iron transport belt, the bottom one is going to be the copper. Okay. And let's do the furnaces too. Furnaces. Maybe a couple of repair packs. Is the 12 conveyor belts inserters um i guess the ore can come from the top Okay, then we need more inserters and more conveyor belts. Probably need a reader to like see how big of the attack groups they are making because I'm increasing the production pretty quickly here. Okay, that's the first part. I tried to kill the chat yesterday. Well, I did the push-ups for myself. You decided to do it yourself, you know.
Okay, that thing, and then we also have the ammo. Let's just have uh, one piece of the ammo. Um, production here for now. Just for now. Okay, then I need some... One, two, three, four. To finish off that iron. Oh my, do none coal. Okay, so far. Still having a lot of power. <clears throat> Alright, the next thing is to do the copper. Right, so we are going to have... This is going to be the other line for the iron. The line for the iron, and this is the line for the copper. Yes, yeah, sure. More conveyor belts, which I think means that I need those conveyor belts. Let's do that. Conveyor belt, like that. Uh, poop, poop. Like that. <clears throat> Alright, and this over here in the bottom is going to be the copper. We just have four for now. Be enough. Copper needs to go from up there somehow. Alright, it looks like another gun turret will be uh, very useful soon. This guy is never attacked yet, did they? Yeah, kill zero. I'm wondering if they are even like doing anything there. These two nests are far away from each other, right? So they should have separate attack groups. Okay, and uh, we have the coal here. Right, coal is going to be automated soon. Uh, but now that we have that, one, two, three, four. The uh, copper needs to be connected to the um, two over there. I did it not in the best way possible, but okay, sure. Here's the first little piece. Uh, copper, copper. There you go. This is going to work. Now we can just sit and chill and relax. Right? 
uh, maybe the next thing that deserves automation is the uh, is the power. I'm going to use the burner inserters for that this time because why not? Because why not? Okay, so here's going to be the uh, line of coal going like that. I need more. And then we're going to have the inserters like that. So I need uh, 48 conveyor belts. There you go, I'm just in time, because this is already ran out of coal. Okay. Um, I will build more of this later. Oh shit, yeah. Over here, we need more. Uh, I guess I'm just putting this uh, over here, and that should work. Okay. Okay, there you go. The first piece of automation, the ammo and the uh, turrets. It's working. Now I need uh, to have more. More faster. Um, I need some of the iron. Make more mining drills. Probably a good idea, like I said, to make the Raider too. Um, Alright, a little later. Let's do one more. Okay, so this is how many? This is seven, and I have uh, 12 furnaces. So all of these furnaces should be working. This should be making a quarter of the conveyor belt here, right? Anything I want to research? Uh, probably the stone wall actually uh, is the next thing before I start getting bigger attack groups and the stone wall let's do that a watermelon Wednesday I don't know. I don't. I don't really have a watermelon. I have a pineapple though. Mm -hmm. 
Stone wall. Okay, so in order to do the stone walls, I will need to mine that stone. More miners are required here. More miners. Okay, so how... Uh, maybe, actually, you know what? Since we have the mixed patch here, we actually should go towards the logistics uh, soon. Let's do that first. Alright, okay, maybe I need a little more. Here, alright. Yeah, this attack group's starting to become... ...bigger. Let's have... ...four. Turrets on this side. And then... How is this still zero kills? This doesn't make any sense to me. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, also the light armor. Because I don't want dying. Okay, the stone wall is researched. Um, logistics. 10, 20 is what we need. And specs. <clears throat> so I'm just going to like need to filter out uh, the stone Hmm. Waffles, walnuts, wasabi, wild rice, white beans, whiskey, <laughs> whiskey Wednesday. <laughs> All right. Today the drink of water, uh, channel point redeem becomes uh, a whiskey instead. Good luck playing the death world then. Right? Alright, let's um, make a raider finally. At least one of them. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just let's just uh, do it without the filtering first, like that. You got COVID. Well, that sucks. <laughs> mm. All right, uh, I need another 
assembler. For making the walls. There you go. I see that one of the iron miners is out. There you go. Did I place the raider? I did not. There you go. It's impossible. Why is there no attack group here? Hold on. I, I'm suspecting that they're big and as huge attack group that is going to ruin me. Why did these guys not attack me yet? It does make sense. There is no attack group. Why not? Hold on. How does this game work again? They never attacked me. This has zero kills. Huh? Tyrannosaurus Hacks, hello, hello. We just started a new run today. Because we launched the rocket on the X-1000 yesterday. No fish. Yeah, no fish. I mean, no eating fish. Fish is like, I can pick it up and then I can put it back. That's allowed, all right? Eating fish, putting it into your mouth is not allowed, all right? I know some people, they don't like mushrooms. We don't like fish. Eating fish, obviously. Hmm. So spidertrons are allowed. Yeah, spidertrons are allowed. But Spidertron shooting rockets are not allowed. Because it's not going to be... I, 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 th I think the rockets are not going to be allowed on this run. They can still be shields. <laughs> yeah. No, the idea is to get to like one shot in the behemoths. With like uranium ammo and a couple of damage upgrades, I guess. So we don't need a shield. A couple. Yeah, I was asking, how many upgrades do I need to research to actually do the one-shotting? 10 levels of damage upgrade after the, the rocket? Is that going to be enough? 20? Is that going to be enough? I have no idea. I'm out of coal. Oh, there you go. There you go. I knew there was... ...something like that incoming. Where where were they hiding though? I was literally looking over there. Where where were they grouping up? Huh? Just outside of my of my radar range apparently. Okay. Alright, uh, splitter. Couple more miners. Martin Luder, hello. 
uh, we'll do a splitter over here with a priority to the left. And then we go to the left. Dun, 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 dun. Rats on the rockets. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, that's one of the things. Let's do more splitters. And underground too. What? No! Shit, I'm dead. No! Leave me alone! Hold on, I think we need to restart. Hold on. 43 minutes? Oh shit, that was bad. Hold on. I... Ah. I didn't have ammo on me. <laughs> Alright. I mean, I can respawn here, but... All right. Apparently, like I, I, th I guess they just ran out of ammo. All right. I need to watch that a little better. All right. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, we, we, this is, I, it's like I, I, I didn't play the beginning of the game for a long time. We need to restart here. It's fine. Nothing happened. Um, and uh, also I changed the water coverage to the minimum and the trees coverage to the minimum and we are searching for a desert map on purpose. So there is another one. This is Death World preset. The only modifications to the Death World preset is uh, the water to the minimum, the trees to the minimum, and I'm uh, I'm searching for the uh, for the desert map. That's it. No desert? No, yes desert. Without the desert, this is going to be too easy, I think. We want the desert. You need to do 20 push-ups as a negative reinforcement to play better? Are you going to do those with me? Nah, I'm not doing push-ups today. Maybe tomorrow. Alright, here's another map. Is this one good? I don't know, looks, looks okay. So the hard part is the desert, you guys say? I don't know. It's only changing the very beginning though, right? I need to be a little more careful. Alright. I did not want to die there. That was unfortunate. This nest might be a little too close. Oh, the cold rock. Minimum trees and pick in a desert. That's the challenge. Yeah. I don't think, like, like I said, it, it only changes the beginning, though. Right? Like. Doesn't tend change too much, I think. In the late game. Other than the amount of iron I'm going to need to spend on the bullets.
<clears throat> you look for a green map as an easy start. Yeah. But uh, it basically doesn't change. Because like if you pick a green map in a death world, you can basically ignore the biters. The other death world seems like it ought to be impossible to get started. Nah, it's okay. I just needed to place a couple more turrets and uh, I ran out of ammo in them. You need to really, like, watch and make sure that you are prepared for the attacks that are coming. Uh, another burner, yes. Before the X1000 challenge, we did the uh, Death World Marathon with 600% Biter Nest, so, like, I don't think it's a big problem. I mean, des it, that was not on, on a desert, though, so... Yeah. But it's going to be, like, similar to that. You just need a wall. I think. Alright, where's my copper? Obviously, you did a death world run and managed to find a map that was green and also in an enclosed area by a peninsula and eventually realized I may have as well just been playing default settings. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, that's also the reason why I de deleted the... Um, I, I didn't delete, I moved the water slider to the minimum so that... Like... I don't just protect the choke points, although it doesn't really matter much, I guess. I don't know, water can be... Uh, water is still absorbing less pollution than the desert itself is, right? Alright, I'm going this time straight into the electric miners. I'm not even going to do more burners. Alright, we have a boiler. We have an offshore pump. I need a steam engine. Alright, and then the electric mining drill. Oh, did I spend all my copper on that? Hold on, how much do I need? 4.5 for my first electric miner.
Let Death World Marathon. Once I took a desert, thinking how hard it can be, stopped when bullet ate more copper than I could bring. Did you research the like the damage upgrades? Um also efficiency modules are a thing that I normally don't use, but I think I will use in this run. For that reason, because you are going to be attacked less if you produce less pollution. Right? That's going to be important, I think. I'm not going to... Like, usually you do the efficiency modules in the green map. So that the pollution doesn't even reach the biters. That's the thing that you can do if you don't play the desert. Right? Mm -hmm. Right, uh, copper. Let's do a little bit of copper here. Or another miner. Hmm. this with a chest that's going to be easier to see another miner Alright, so far so good. Just going to keep increasing the ore production. Uh, maybe I will need more wood while I'm waiting for more of this ore. Alright, let's go harvest some wood uh, in the uh, bottom right. Okay, 100 will be enough. There's still like a lot of wood. I, I, I made the slider to be to go to the minimum. I am in the desert. This is still a desert, right? And there's still a lot of wood here.
Maybe for a real challenge next time we uh, we disable the wood completely. Okay. Um What am I doing here? More miners. Yes, that's what I'm doing. Uh and I need to start putting the miners on the coal too. 30 coal in the boiler. We missed the start. We just started from scratch basically 11 minutes ago because I died on the first try. <laughs> Hello. You didn't miss much. There was an accident on the first run. Push-ups are gone. Yeah. I have too much things to do right now. Um, like, imagine if I go for the push-ups and then the biters eat my base. That's, that's That would not be nice, right? All right. Uh, and one more. <clears throat> All right, nice. It doesn't say no laser. All right, I can add no laser there. Yes, it is no laser. Uh, laser is... Laser... Uh, I'm not really sure if it's OP, but it's like too easy to build, I guess. Let's, uh, let's add there to that rules. No laser. There you go. I updated it. What about offensive weapons? All the same. It doesn't it didn't it doesn't say no rockets too, but I think it's going to be no rockets. It it's a, the bullet only. The bullet only. Um is the idea here. The only thing that I'm considering is allowing the destroyers and distractors. Because I never played with them, so I just want to know if they are any good. Once you get to artillery, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, you usually in the uh, in these settings without the multiplier, you you can get to the uh, you can launch the rocket before the artillery, really easily. Defenders use bullets, yeah. Defenders they are the the first ones. So like, if I restrict it to the true bullet only, then I cannot uh, use. Destroyers or distractors, right? You always use destroyers. Distractors are useless. Uh, from what I understand, destroyer is destroyer is uh, is electric damage, and a distractor is is laser damage. So the distractor actually can be upgraded with the damage research, but the destroyer cannot be. So does it, doesn't it mean that the destroyer is the useless one? Because it's going to be... Uh, it, is, it is unupgradable. The structures just sit where you throw them. Oh, yeah, they 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 work differently too. Oh, okay. The structure isn't the follower. Do they not count to the uh, follower count then too? The structure.
Lab research. So I'm going to research the gun turret and the automation. And the wall. There you go. I have the resources for all of that. Uh, gun turret, automation, wall. Less ore? No, I did not do less ore. I was thinking about it, but I did not do it. Uh, the ore settings is default. Alright, uh, while I'm waiting, probably adding more wood for the future is a good idea. Map generation was nerfed over the years, used to see in the second iron or copper patch from here. Oh, it's RNG, sometimes you see it, yeah. I don't remember from the preview. There was one iron patch. It was like kind of far. I think I think over here, maybe. But I don't remember. And then after that, we're going to have the logistics too. No explosives. Uh, tank shells, technically they do physical damage. So, I think tank might be allowed. Fred, hello.
Oh, shit. I thought I'm not... polluting them yet. Alright, uh, it is the time to build the first turrets. How do you kill the bases? Well, using the distractor, uh, the, using the combat bots is the idea, I guess. Yeah, no building near biters is to uh, is to prevent the turrets creeping and the landmine spam spamming the buildings near the near the biters is OP. I think I think we should be able to do that with the uh, with the combat bots. I, I didn't try though, so I haven't. I don't really know. The, the main idea of the challenge is just so that I can play around with things that I never played with before, which is the uranium ammo and the combat bots. And also polluting the guys on the top. Yeah, combat bots. Also, the, uh, the combat shotgun is another thing that I'm wondering. It was uh, completely useless in the previous run, but that's because we didn't have any speed or damage upgrades for, like, research at all. I, I think that maybe with the speed and damage upgrades, the combat shotgun might be useful somewhat. But I don't know. I haven't used uranium ammo. Yeah, I did not. It's so good. Is it better than landmines? I, I think not. But we'll see. Nothing beats landmines. And if you use flamethrowers, you don't need anything else, too. You just you can just defend yourself with flamethrowers only, no problem. Going through death world, opening in a death world without grenades is impossible. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's possible. It cannot be that bad. Okay, time to do the automation, I guess. <clears throat> I've done casual just because I'm too lazy to get grenades. It's not too hard. Yeah, what do you use grenades for? Uh, I have seen people use grenades just to, uh, like, kill off the entire attack group, right? But this on this can only work if your base is so small that you can uh, see the attack group coming and like go there on foot, right? Because you cannot it, like you need to be there to use the grenade. Star bases are small infantry. I, I don't know. Like for example, over here we already have this iron patch and this, and the distance between them is this much. If if an attack is coming from from this nest to over here, will I be able to go from here to here to throw a grenade? Well, I guess I just uh, place a raider and see the attack group gathering and 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 be ready. 
but I don't know. Seems like doing that is actually harder than making the, the turret wall. I just thought of another restriction, only allowed to break dead logs on the ground for wood, no standing trees, and no cliff explosives. I already reduced the trees to the minimum. It doesn't change much. Like, well, what does it change? Like, what does it actually change? There is not a lot of trees in this in this world. And uh, to the, for the cliffs to be a real challenge, you we would need to, like, increase the amount of them to spawn to that would like be more spaghetti than but there is still a lot of empty space that I can build in they're not really an issue all right automation time Let's do it over here. So the most important things are the ammo, the turret. Those are the things, yes. Um, okay. And then let's say that I'm going to have The smell tree over here. Prioritizing logistics over iron. Uh, what do you mean? Prioritizing over iron. What is iron? Steel? What are you talking about? Ah, shit, I'm dead. No! Don't die. Hold on. Building inserters before more drills? No, 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 no. I need to have these turrets before. <laughs> before more miners. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's for sure. I'm not placing these miners, I already built them, but I need to defend, as you can see, first. Killed by reading chat? It's not by reading chat, I did not have the um, things in my inventory that I needed. Are you saying that, like, automating before, like, uh, I should just manually craft a little more, I guess? Yeah. That's probably true.
smelting stacks take a lot of resources. Like, if I automate using just four belts, I'm not going to build a full smeltery here. And it should be fine then, right? Right? Alright, four turrets should be enough. I hope. Just four furnaces? Well, for the beginning, I just need to... I just, I just need to start crafting them at some speed and start placing them. Like, right now I'm just waiting for myself to craft them. And I don't want to be waiting for that. I want some sort of automation. Just want four furnaces. Whatever number of furnaces. Just to start the process. Try protecting turrets with some furnaces. That's another cheat that's not allowed in this run. <laughs> Furnaces are furnaces. Walls are walls. You know, those things... You're not supposed to smelt items in your walls and you're not supposed to use furnaces as walls. Okay. <clears throat> what does the numbers mean here? Uh... Wait, where? Oh, someone else in chat? Okay. Never mind then. By the way, we have the math didn't add up together uh, like again. We stopped at 99% logistics. I need one more automation pack. I see nothing wrong with laying down a whole bunch of furnaces early and filling their logistics later. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with anything in this game. Alright, this uh, should be done except for the uh, copper that is not automated. Okay. And then let's also do after that uh, another thing, which is going to be the conveyor belts. Let's do them like that. More copper. Mm. 
What? Did I not place the turret there? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. I guess I did not place the turret there. Should be careful when fighting because... I'm supposed not to be able to, like, just place the turrets. <laughs> Alright, well, that sucks. All right. I guess the uh, the biggest problem is that the cop the coal that I put in there needs to be harvested again. Technically, just one steam engine is enough for me. Uh, yet. Slash evolution. This is just the beginning, it's, it's nothing. 4%. Just because of the time. Okay, let me think, 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 uh, this. Alright, we started doing this automatically, that is good. Uh, thank you for the follow. DN spies. <clears throat> Alright, uh, no more research for a while, I need to automate the wall. Um, so this is kind of automated. I need to do this, this, that. And that. Just do 200. Let's use up this science pack. What is the next thing that I'm going for? Optics. Yeah, sure. Maybe this is going to be the first base that I'm actually going to light up properly. Why optics? <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to use that thing. The science pack that was left over because like... I crafted one more. Than needed because of the uh, of the floating point errors, I guess. Okay. We have the turrets. Uh, next thing that I want to automate actually is the wall. Also, I want a little more, a little faster of the coal right now, I think. Let's do that. All right, and then the wall is going to be necessary. Let's just do... Miners, sure. <clears throat> uh, 
<laughs> crazy hard restrictions, death world settings, do nothing you would normally do and somehow you expect to survive. Uh, we're surviving so far, right? It's already 40 minutes in this world and we didn't die yet, right? We're doing okay. I just need to like keep growing my turrets. The turrets must grow. That's the important part. That's why we lost the first run here. I forgot to grow them. There you go, see? This is easier than a thousand X. Yeah, a thousand times... I don't know. I actually don't know if it's easy or not. It's too early to tell. Less grindy. Well, grindy and hard is different things, right? Uh, something is being attacked. I need more turrets up there. I'm out of ammo. No, I'm not. But it was just two turrets. Once again, we need to place more. And also need to make sure that the... How, is, how much is this circuit? It's already the green. Okay. Yeah, not doing that yet. Now I need more power. to place the turrets here so that they don't destroy it again. There is another attack group gathering. Starter patch is 344. Iron. Yeah, because of how much iron we're going to use to do the ammo, I guess we will need. Uh, but it's not as bad as in the Death World Marathon. Probably.
Did he take a SS screenshot of the map preview to see where the second patches are? No. It's okay. I know that they are somewhere. And that they are not covered by the biters. That's what I know. <laughs> All right, uh, I am not being attacked in a while. This can mean only one thing we're about to lose this game because they are going to send the huge attack group right now i'm ready for it hold on hold on hold on you know what i need like i need something like a safe space where i need to run to in case uh something is being destroyed like over here for example oh i need a lot more ammo by the way i am doing so little ammo currently <clears throat> Title say number two for second attempt. Oh, it's day number one. Maybe we're maybe it's going to be more attempts today. I don't know. Maybe we're going to lose right now, and I will need to rethink something. The attempts don't matter. Yeah, the attempts also they don't matter. Uh, I agree. <laughs> All right, uh, I need, I need what, uh, more power? Uh, I have the, uh, the walls, so here's uh, what I'm going to be doing for my turrets. Need to really watch the ammo on them. Why, why is no one attacking anyone? Hold on. Oh shit, hold on. Do you guys see that? Shit, 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 shit. Hold on. They're, they're about to, to send that attack. I can feel it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> rip power. Yeah, rip everything. Hold on. Hold on. Well, I'm just in time here, all right? Okay, that wasn't that bad. Nice. If only you had a grenade or two. <laughs> Grenades are a little further. And I think I'm not going to use them anyway. Like, once we get there, you, we don't need grenades anymore. Anyway, I think...
No recovering corpses, yeah. I don't like that. <clears throat> All right, I uh, need more copper. For the turrets. <clears throat> Rocket launcher kills the yeah. Shotgun is allowed. But rocket launcher, I think not. You want me to add that too to the list? Maybe other things that I have forgotten. The tank. Uh, the tank is the one that I'm considering because the tank is technically physical damage. Artillery is uh, allowed though, yeah. Artillery is allowed. Poison capsule, also not sure. Poison capsule. I think we should not allow it. I don't know. We need to get to the. Uh, the uh, I think. I think. I think. Let's, let's just say not because I don't think it matters. Once we get there, poison capsule is pretty late in the game, right? It's the military three. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be okay there. Not late. Well, I mean, technically in this challenge, I guess it, it does come before the uranium ammo, right? Uranium ammo is yellow science already, yeah. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, need more walls and more turrets. These four turrets are not going to hold against this attack. And then I need a wall. Now, poison capsules are good, yeah. Against the worms, I agree. But I already played with them, so yeah. It's whatever. I'm just wondering how good the uh, defender capsules are going to be. Alright, we can also, like, bait them a little bit, right? Like that, to have the smaller attack groups. Since they are this close to my base here. Okay, now the ammo is being produced very very slowly i need to increase the speed of that this 10 hold on I'm going to do a 12.
How's my power? Let's do... One, two, three more. And your rocks around. There's literally no rocks. What? What? Why did they attack there? This stupid... Biters. Did they attack from the right? Can they follow me, please? No? They don't want to die in the turrets? Okay. Oh, there's an expansion over here. That's amazing. Amazing. They made an expansion on the right. Already. It's fine, it's fine. We're slowly getting there. We just need to, like, wait for having a little more turrets. Then I need to automate the uh, ammo for the turrets. Like, this is already out. And it's going to be okay. Here, gun turret, ammo. Like that. <clears throat> All right, it doesn't really matter much. I just didn't expect the uh, expansion to be there. It doesn't matter. It just means that I will need to like surround my entire base with turrets anyway. Ah, uh, this is missing. So let's have two inserters so that I make these faster.
Alright, I need to protect this from the right side too, because they can hack and destroy the entire power again. And this is out of ammo, amazing, alright. Just kill the bugs. I cannot just kill the bugs, because I'm not allowed to build near the fighters. That's one of the big restrictions here. Probably like the hardest one. That I cannot just place turrets near the biter nests, basically. Is what the, what's why the restriction is there. It's almost like we're doing the, uh, the challenge where you are not killing the biter nests. You know? Almost. Keep research always running from the beginning? Yeah. I cannot... I mean... Yeah, if I do the research, it means that I will be attacked more. That's for sure. And I'm not having the defenses yet. Also, this uh, strat helps. Before the grenades, right? It's just taking the biters off. Um, or having smaller attack groups. The hardest part right now for me is literally just watching the ammo. I think... I will handcraft more. Like, I need to have at least a stack on me all the time. Rush military 2, handcraft, the science, yeah. Um... I guess this one is kind of cheap. The hardest one here is the logistic science pack and the steel research, right? 50, Alright, let's also... Uh, maybe... Maybe I make more miners now. Six. Maybe not yet. Let's do one more iron miner. What he mention is that he's chose this challenge out of nothing but simply for you. <laughs> now, I wanted to do this, uh, I just wanted to play around with the uh, uranium ammo, like I said. Alright, and I want the walls to be faster. Maybe. Uh, maybe I can place the raiders now. Placing the raider is also another thing, right? If I place the raider, it means a lot of power. One raider is 300 kilowatts. 
I guess it's not really super noticeable anymore, but like it also produces the pollution. So more attacks. Um, like, I probably want at least two raiders here, though, because I want to make sure that I see the attacks that are coming from this nest, the attacks that are coming from this expansion, and from that one. I want to see the attacks before they happen. But I'm still, like, I still need the ammo. I don't know. Uh, let's restrict with this to one slot. The ammo is crafted too slow. Need more iron. Evolution is almost at 10%, H.2%. <laughs> we can take a look over here. The production of... Uh magazine right i'm making 27 a minute i'm using 18 a minute too slow This is bad. It happened because I ran out of ammo in those turrets again. Um, okay, maybe I don't need... No, I do, I do need... I need more... Copper... For sure, I need to replace all of that now.
Hold on. I can't even, like, do that. Really. Place the things before placing the uh, turrets with ammo there. <clears throat> I really need these walls. Um, let's have one taking the stone too. <clears throat> 140,000 uranium to 318 euro space exploration save. Why? You never did the enrichment? No, let's just do this. It's okay. What? Do, why is something being destroyed that down there, though? That's bad. I don't like that sound. Maybe just a wall? Just a wall was just... Yeah, okay. You don't need the walls? No, I do need the walls. Because if I don't have the walls... Oh shit, everything is being destroyed again. Okay. <laughs> they just attacked on the top. On the things that I just placed. Right? The coal. Okay. The coal and a little bit over here. Real... I'm just wasting resources right now by losing this. Alright, need more turrets. More ammo. Okay, maybe... I don't know. Let's just... Just have one... For that. Just just one stack. One stack is enough. So that I can craft some uh, stone furnaces without hand mining. Yeah, that's all I need here, really. And then a furnace... For this thing for the bricks uh yep good enough good enough good enough good enough <clears throat> what can i do what is a useful thing that I could do? And craft the ammo. Is that useful? I don't know. Um, I definitely don't need these. I already have too much. I can do full automation here. Of coal. That's better than... 
having them in chest and then the chest being exploded. Let's instead actually have the the belt. That's a good thing. Alright, let's have another crafter for the for the ammo. That's going to increase the speed of it. Alright, uh and I need to watch. To really watch, okay. Seven. I think I want like like 20. 20 in each. This one, uh, everyone has just one ammo. That's very bad. Like if I have about 20 in each turret, that is what we want. Right? Alright. Um, is it time for the raider? Put the trader down here. Okay. So we see that these two nests, they combine into one big attack group outside. Yeah. Alright, that sound that that looks That looks big. Let's see how much ammo do I have here. Five to eight. Need more. There's probably more turrets here too. How many turrets do I have? Ten. Need to bring more copper. For more turrets too. Okay, this is looking okay. This is all out of ammo. This needs to be fixed right now. Uh, okay, alright, we're still not dead, still not dead, but the evolution is at 10%. When did the uh, spitters start spawning? Like at 15, I think, right? I always forget. I think it's 15. Alright, let's actually, you know what, I think... So that it doesn't get destroyed next time. Shit. Hold on. Hold on. These guys actually did run out of ammo.
I wanted to move the uh, turrets at the top to be in the middle of the copper and and stone so that it covers both. Probably a good idea. Alright, I wish I could just just grow and make things faster, but it's a struggle so far. Hold on. Uh, yeah, this... I wanted to move it. I mean, technically, you know what? I have the turrets. I just need... Um, the thing that's missing here is the walls. I'm not being attacked here too much. And the ammo, obviously. Ammo, I need more ammo. Let's do another... Uh, and the walls would also be nice. Do two more miners. What oh, is being destroyed again? Why? Why did you go there? Hold on. I thought I placed the turrets here, but I guess I didn't. It's okay. It's not that bad. Not that bad. Still alive. You don't see how this game can succeed? No, it's fine, it's fine. If we spend all of the ammo to... the... Uh, all of the iron towards the ammo, it should be fine. Uh, at some point we will just need to have a, an upgrade. The damage upgrade. Which actually means that it maybe is a good idea to research the military already. And start going towards that, like sometimes I can handcraft a little bit. It's fine. It's like the very beginning, I, I guess, is the hardest one here. It's going to only become easier and easier over time. Oh, they killed the offshore pump. Medium biters come in 25%, so like... It's not... Or do they come at 20 or at 25? Why do I always forget? Where? What is that thing, Veldek? Enemies, evolution, medium, starts. Medium speeder starts at 40. Medium biter starts at 20, yes. <clears throat> Alright, why is my power... Offshore pump, yes. Hello there. Do I have ammo in these turrets? I do. Alright. See, no problem. I just need to have 
the turrets filled with ammo everywhere. And then it's no problem. Alright, let's continue the research. <clears throat> How much is the damage upgrade? It's a hundred. Hundred is not that bad, actually. I, I can handcraft that. That's that's actually nothing. Uh, the earlier I do it, the better. I can just do it immediately here, I think. It's only 200 iron. Two hundred iron and one hundred copper. Uh, and a little more. And a little more because we need to finish the optics, obviously. Before continuing the research. It's crazy slow to research. Yeah, I will probably need um, more. I mean, it's slow to research, but I'm not like really going to be researching anything else. Maybe I will do it in one lab. In one lab, it's going to take us. Um, where is it? Physical damage upgrade. It's taking. It's just an hour. It's not that bad, right? Just 50 minutes. It's okay. We have other things to do in the meantime. If I increase the number of labs, then I need to like increase the other things too. Which is, uh, I need to increase them first, which is the ammo. Ammo production, uh, make a proper like wall, surround the entire base. 50 minutes, that's a lot to get medium by then. I'm pretty sure I will not, because I have been playing for the uh, 1 hour and 30 minutes already, right? Slash time, 1 hour and one and a half hour. Our evolution is at 10%. Evolution is slowing down. If I play for 1 and a half hour more, I will not have the medium biters. Unless, like, I'm going to start polluting a lot more. Nah, you just want me to... To die, that's why you're saying build more labs. No, 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 no. Before building more labs, I need other things. Sure. These turrets are almost out of ammo. How are these doing? We are not doing good. <laughs> yeah, it's 90% time, the evolution. I was just clicking that button, right? 90% time.
10, 20, 30. Let's start crafting those. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let me at least craft those, not manually. I don't want to craft those manually. Manually, I will craft something more important. If you double your resource speed and double your pollution, there will be 80% time. So only half as much time. Yeah. But by, but if I double my pollution, then I need to double my iron production. So, like, doubling my pollution doesn't actually double my pollution, if you know what I mean. If I double my research, I will need more iron, which, uh, like, basically... I need to do more than a double. I think. Or, I mean, if I double the, the science, I need to, like... If we properly double, then I need to double the the all the other things too, right? If I only double the uh, the science, that might not be good enough for me. All right, but I I have finally look at this the entire stack of the of the bullets. I see a huge attack coming from the bottom. No problem. All right. Let's have a submachine gun, shotgun, and a couple of shotgun shells. All right, let's do a little different thing. Um, like that. Um, automation, that, lab, that, inserter, I uh, here, let's have another assembly machine, actually, I don't need another assembly machine. We'll just do this, beautiful, right? There you go. Uh, I'm just hand feeding the copper right now. Dun, dun, dun. All right, you want another lab? Sure, let's craft another lab. Alright, pretty sure that I have at least 10 ammo in every single turret right now. Well, or a number that's close to 10.
All right, we're doing good. Doing very good. Is it the time for me to increase this? I'm kind of scared to place more miners a little bit. I should, like, do it one by one. And then see if I can hold for 10 minutes <laughs> after that. And then 10 minutes later, we do one more. Is the shotgun good against the, uh, the big attack group, by the way? If I just shoot my shotgun when they are coming, is that similar to a grenade, kind of? What does a uh, shotgun actually do? 12 times 5, it's 60 damage, right? If every single bullet hits, it's 60 damage. What about a grenade? A grenade is less damage. But it's explosion damage, which the biters don't have the resistance against, I guess. But technically, it looks like the shotgun is better. Right? Than a grenade. It's more... It's even more or efficient. A grenade is... Oh, yeah, a grenade is more than 35 damage. Yeah, true, 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 true. Did not think about that. Also, I will need more coal. I think. I mean, let's just put more miners so that I can fill that belt. Alright. Um, Raider, maybe. Another one. Alright, soon I will need to place all of these uh, on a belt. On a big belt around... Uh, let's also fully automate the copper. I think it's time that I do that. I'm still not feeding my furnaces automatically, but other than that... Do, 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 do. There you go. Automation. Is here. Probably need more turrets in this area. Okay. The base is holding very nicely. Physical projectile damage research is on the way. It's going uh, pretty fast too. Right? Um, okay. I think it's time for me to make the big belt of ammo. So that I don't need to hand feed my turrets anymore. Let's see how much currently I have. 200 and... 300 belts. 
let me see if I do something like this. And this is 160 belts. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. 300, about 400, 500 belts, I think, should be enough. Right? Which is something that I actually have. If I just place them right now, they are not going to be attacked. Pretty sure. Ammo belt? I thought it was just a meme joke strategy? Wait. That's what everyone is doing, no? That's, uh, that's the most common thing ever in this game, I, I think, no? That's how you make your wall. A lot of common strats are bad. Well, this is the challenge when we use only the bad strats. I guess. Not using grenades, you know. And things like that. Place more. Dun, dun, dun. Alright, need uh, about a hundred and fifty more. Oh, lamps. I forgot about lamps. I researched lamps. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to stop everything we're doing and place some lamps. You see how dark it is? Can you guys even see anything on the stream? Isn't that better? It's not nearer as bad as in, in the desert. Yeah, I guess that's true. When you play on the uh, normal green grass, it's a lot darker. Alright, I literally was putting ammo in turrets, but I did not look at these guys.
Each entity used to have a pollution value, but that got stupid to track, so they changed pollution to be a function of energy consumption. Just need a little more. A little more. And then... And we can go around here. There you go. 65. Something like that. If you could take out the nest, that would be a better stress still. Yeah, it is. It is, for sure. Because if I'm not... Uh, like, even in a desert, my pollution is still being, being absorbed by the uh, by the sand. If I kill this nest, I'm going to be attacked less. If I kill this nest, I'm going to be attacked less. Yeah, for sure. If you can kill the nest, you should do it. And I could, with my turrets already. more Twelve. <clears throat> okay, physical uh, product tile is at fifty five per cent. I'm limited by the uh, production of the gears, which is probably because, yeah, because all the iron is being taken for the ammo. Uh, power is okay. Why don't I see? I like I, the thing that I don't like is the fact that I don't see the attack groups, even although I have the raiders. This one I see. How are we doing on the ammo here? Let's go bring more. There is attack happening right now here. Probably a good idea to make more turrets. Let's do that. All right. And then let's do more turrets here. Have all the ammo. Right, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, conveyor belts. This is almost done.
I can force uh more variables right now to finish it and also and also maybe this is the time where I actually put the ammo on this belt slowly from one I have two assemblers I have a some amount of ammo on me should be okay let's just do this Uh, do that. Also, I mean, yeah, no, this is not necessary right now. I was about to, like, put a splitter here, but that's not necessary. Whatever. We'll first fill this belt. where you're not allowed to hold left mode button to place uh, one click per place um the so like the way i have nerfed building in this in this mode is that i cannot place things near the biters right but you can also nerf it but because that's the easiest way to do it without like modding i was thinking about like making a small mod for example you can disable building after you build something so you have you can have a cooldown you know how we were talking about before that the building should take time but you can just have a cooldown on this because that's how other things work in this game already just have a cooldown <laughs> But yeah, for the normal base building, I guess it doesn't really matter. I need for these miners to work fully I need to connect these furnaces and maybe it's time to automate the coal here too maybe interesting until you get to bots Okay, there you go. Um, coal. Hmm. Ammo. Uh, I wanted to have another lab because why not? Because it seems like my science packs are staying there. Let's have one more labs. And can't import blueprints. Oh, no importing blueprints is like how I'm playing all the time anyway. At least for now. Maybe uh, uh, like 
after like 6,000 hours or something like that. After I have tried every single way to build things, I will I will start to use just using blueprints instead. But for now, I just yeah. The blueprints from the previous game uh, are not here anymore. I'm using game blueprints instead of my blueprints, so that I don't save them on accident. So that you don't save them? Well, you don't save them, like, uh, for, like, my blueprints is the, for, is this blueprints across all the saves that you have. Game blueprints is just the blueprints for this world, basically. I guess this should be called game blueprints, and this should be called world blueprints, or, like, save blueprints, something, maybe. All right, the next thing that I want to increase is the uh, wall production, because I will need the wall for this belt around, and I have not refilled my ammo in a while. Let's look at all the things. Uh, this one is okay. This one should be refilled. Oh, this one is out of ammo. It's good. I'm here just in time. Did I not just refill these guys? But I did. Have a little bit of ammo on the belt. Uh, the question is, what kind of inserters am I going to use? Just the normal inserters, I think. I was thinking a second to make for my turrets and feel like have the other line here to be the coal line and use the burner inserters to put the ammo into my things, just in case my power runs out or something like that happens. But nah, not going to do that. Physical projectile damage has been researched, that is that is good. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is the logistic science pack, I guess. The steel on its own is not really useful. Heavy armor, yeah, I don't really need that. Steel axe, yeah, whatever. We go research this thing. And then we are going towards the military too. No, we go for more damage upgrades first, I think, even. Military 2, piercing rounds. I'm not sure when to upgrade to this. Uh, if I have the mediums... Is it still better the yellow ammo or the red? I'm not sh I don't remember. Probably should upgrade on the mediums just so that I don't miss the time. <clears throat> All right, uh, increase the wall production. And also, I'm making, like, a lot of this is going through, so let's have even one more 
Uh, one more of these. More ammo is good. Uh, I have a bunch of turrets. All right. Um, let's also be making the inserters automatically. I want that. Maybe, like, start doing a very small mall. I'm only making the conveyor belts. Let's just do one thing here. Uh, what have I crafted here? Uh, let's move down here. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Alright, very good, very good. Look at this. Look at this beautiful setup. Alright. Uh, I'm only using, like, the excess iron for that. <clears throat> but the only difference between the challenge that Kuvi is doing and the one I found myself playing accidentally is play with no spaghetti allowed. That would be sp impossible for him. <laughs> It's not spaghetti. Hold on. It's not spaghetti yet. Is it? Or is this spaghetti already? I don't know. You're, you're, you're right though, probably. No, spaghetti is impossible. Alright. It looks like we are being attacked from down there. Or did these guys go around? Probably what happened. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit.
I need iron, and I don't have any iron. Hold on. Oh, I do. There you go. One, two, three. How many did they kill? Three. Okay. Uh, I have not increased the things in a while. So I'm going to lose. I need to start actually placing the, uh, the new things. Um, on the belt. How much ammo do I have? I kind of have ammo on the belt. I don't know, let's uh let's for now just keep what we have. Yeah, I will need inserters, yes for sure. I will need inserters to put the ammo into these guys. All right, let's put the pistol back. Away, I mean. Okay, we are two hours in. Evolution is 15%. We're about to get the speeders, right? The small speeders. The science pack is just slowly making them. Yeah, okay. Because that's the fast research. <clears throat> okay, let's maybe just start somewhere. Just start somewhere. For example, on the left over here. I can place like 20 turrets easy. Right? Like I'm being attacked here. Just replace this with a new wall that is better. Hold on, is this wall going to be too close though if I place it like this? I think this is going to be too close. I need to move this away. Uh, just a little bit. Let's do that. Burner inserter challenge? You just use burner inserter everywhere? Doesn't sound that bad.
All right, just continue that everywhere is what we want. And the lamps, the lamps, the lamps are important. Oh shit, what is happening? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something is really bad happening right now. Guys, stop! This is my belt! I thought they will never attack the belt. Why did they do that? Why would they just tackle the belt? There's a lot of other things to go for. Top wall seems to be okay. He had the opportunity to straighten the belt and did not. I straighten the belt that I need to uh, pick up the item because when they destroy the belt, they still uh, like this coal was still on the ground, right? If I make this belt straight, then I need to pick up the 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 uh, the coal from the ground. That sounds like work. Why would I do that? See this over here. That was work. Uh, did I stop making? Oh, hold on. The copper. The copper stopped being made. And that is because... No fuel. Right. Okay. Evolution. No, not color. Evolution. 15%. If we take a look at this... Speeder spawner. There is no speeder spawners here. Over here, maybe? Speeder spawner? Wait, still no speeders. Speeders, sp small speeders also start at 20% then, right? It's the medium biters and small speeders at the same time. Evolution. Small speeder starts at 
Small speeder starts after the medium biters. Oh, okay. Sure. So we still have a lot of time until the mediums at 20%. Only then something is going to change. Tun, 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 tun. All right, let's do a proper uh, factory of ammo. Like a proper, proper uh, factory, you know? Um, the research... Probably going to do nothing for a while. Um, let's uh, increase the mall to have this thing automated too. Just one stack of these. Logistic science pack. Oh, military two requires the steel. Okay. Um. Wait, where's the next damage upgrade? I can just do it already. Yes. Okay. Two hundred. Two hundred. Um, and I'm making everything for it too. It's not that hard. It is not that hard. Green signs. I can just uh, place. So this is 100 belts. Here is another 100 belts. Whenever I need those. 50 of these, sure. Let's just start doing that immediately. Did I finish X1K? Yes, I did. Yesterday. I launched the rocket. Alright, and then I wanted to do the proper... Assemblers for the ammo. Let's do them like over here maybe. It took us, uh, what was it, like 270 hours? That run. I just have this many. This should be uh, enough, maybe. I don't know. For now. How quick can I make this steel furnaces? 75. And 50 steel. Okay. I'm considering doing that because I have exactly 24. That's what I built here. Underground. Here's the splitter. That one is going to go towards the... Uh, the ammo and it's going to be a priority. Priority on the left for the ammo. Lamp. All 
All right, and then this ammo production can be deleted from here. Don't need that. Did you miss the rocket? Yeah, yesterday. Can you do another one really quickly? I wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, let me just quickly do one more X1000. The next one is going to be quicker, now that I know what to do, right? Better. That was close. All right, uh, let's have another furnace area. Let's increase the iron. Bullet only, is that even possible? I don't know. Is X1000 possible? We will have to see. Maybe it is. Don't they gain bullet resistance over time? Yeah, they do. But I am increasing the damage over time too, as you can see here. That's the research that I'm doing right now. Alright, for this one, I'm just going to automate the coal, I guess. Uh, coal priority to the left. There we go. I'm getting really tired of my designs working the first try. You want to be learning like a novice again? You need to force yourself to do the spaghetti, I guess.
Okay, so now since I have quite a few of ammo here, we are going to do this with the input priority on the left. So we prioritize the new ammo. Still putting it on the left side, on just one side though. For now. All right, I need, I need to remember that my wall is not fully automated everywhere. And I see that attack incoming. To make sure that we don't die. Look at this belt. It's literally full. All right, I need to place more things everywhere is what it means. I'm just missing the inserters. I think. Maybe some power poles too. Power poles only have 46. Need the copper. more walls I don't think he knows that the game can be paused. <laughs> nah. Why would I pause the game? You took down push-ups redeem? Oh yeah, that's because yeah. Push-ups uh oh yeah, no not push-ups. The pause is not allowed. That's also part of the challenge, alright? <laughs> Right, I can enable the push-ups soon, because soon we're going to have the wall, and we are going to be fine, right? See, I, mean, I basically have a quarter of the wall done.
Okay. Um, then it's important to, to have like something like that at the top and then something like that on the right. And then we are good. Made a joke tweet and there were a bunch of randoms replying, missing the joke. Just yeah, I think I'm done. What did you say? Did you say rust is bad? Or bash is good? Something like that? How do I get sick if I don't go even go outside? Hmm, true. Hmm. True. I don't go outside, I never get sick. Alright, uh, inserters, I have those. Let's place the wall here. Okay, nice. Um, do I need to do the same on the bottom? They did come around this lake once, so probably need to. Let's also finish this. iron should be automated there you go This is not good. Not too bad though. I just thought they would not attack on this.
How's my power? Power is doing okay. Okay, let's see. Next thing is... And to finish that, yes. Uh, and more miners. More miners. Probably... Going to be fine. Um, I need more miners, yeah. Could we light and only did 7 push-ups? If I watch that clip, and there's 10 push-ups there... There's no way I miscounted by 3. Just literally no way. You probably started that clip only like in the middle of me doing push-ups. That's probably what happened. Yep. I was 10 clapping push-ups. Oh. Alright. I knew. Kuvi does only 7 push-ups. Alright. If, if there's a double bait now though. Hold on. Yeah. And clapping push-ups. Kuvi only does five push-ups. No, 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 no. I'm not watching that. I know that I did not do only five push-ups. These guys ran out of coal. Alright, I need to automate the coal over here too. Let's do that right now. And another splitter. And a bunch of belts. Need more miners on the coal. Do I have miners? I do not.
Alright, 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 we're getting there, getting there. The uh, research has stopped because I am increasing my wall actively. Uh, but I like the fact that my belt is full of ammo. That's really good, right? That's really good. Okay, that is going to continue working. We have more miners here that ran out. Place them here. Maybe since my belt is full. No, no, no. I don't. I don't want to remove this priority. I really don't. He's going to die if I do that. Someone tried to make a mod where you could walk off the edge and it would teleport you to the opposite side, but it lagged the game real hard when trying to do it. Why would it uh, lag? Is it, is it really like... a lot? To... Like, isn't there only one chunk that needs to be generated? Or like, I mean, a couple after you teleport? Or is it because even although you teleport to the other edge, it... Because of changing the active tiles entirely? Why would it change the active chunks entirely? I My guess is that maybe it iterates through, like, it it stores the current minimum X coordinate for the chunks and maximum coordinate for the chunks, and that's how it iterates. Probably not, though. But that would explain it, maybe. Because you are on the opposite ch side of the world, so it unloads the old chunks, and then loads new one and it takes a bit especially if it has to roll new chunks but there is so many so a small amount of chunks that needs to be there no like if you are a player here there needs to be just like three chunks or five chunks around you right so like 25 chunks that needs to be generated that's like nothing no Especially, and, and also like Sveldex is saying, once the chunks are generated, there should be no problem after that, right? It's a lot more, look at the pollution and the biters. Yeah, but you were talking about the teleportation, you were going into the new territory, there is no pollution and biters there. And the pollution stays there, so it does not need to be unloaded, The pollution because the pollution stays in the opposite side of the world, it doesn't really change anything. Right? All right, we are playing Death World and it is so chill. So chill. My wall is not even completed yet and it is very chill already. Where well, I'm almost making a belt. Uh, all right, 
Let me just handcraft for the top part of the wall, at least. Uh, I am out of the turrets, though. Except for the ones that I'm going to pick up from the ground. I need to continue my production of other things than the ammo. The ammo still did not stop. Which means that I have some gaps, I guess. In this belt. Yeah, there is a little bit of the gaps. But soon it should be stopped. The gaps are made when uh, when I have when I'm being attacked. <laughs> All right, we do this. We do that. Out of lamps. All right, <clears throat> this this side is not protected. I think that's like the last important direction, and then sometimes they also might come like through the middle here. I see some of the iron stars to go through. So the earth is flat because there is no lag. Alright, a little bit more, then we can grow the insides of the factory. Evolution, 20% almost. Almost at the mediums.
Okay, I just want to have uh, one more over here in the bottom so that my power doesn't get destroyed and over here in the corner. I'm just going to be missing some walls because that one was not working. Okay. Let's continue the research slowly. Personally, my next challenge will be to design blocks for every non-intermediate. It generally takes raw resources and ores and input. Yeah, I was going to do that too. I think. I mean, every non intermediate. It means like just every science. Just for every science, make a building that just takes the raw stuff in and outputs just the science. Alright, we're killing the biters really easily with that wall. We're going to see. It is 19.98%. The medium biters are about to start coming. Hopefully it will not change much. <laughs> All right, this over here. Is this kind of a speedrun in the beginning to survive? This is probably the, the opposite of a speedrun. We sometimes... I'm not sure. Uh, but like... I mean, it's, I guess, kind of a speedrun. Because the biggest evolution factor is the time, 80%. So yeah, maybe. I wouldn't say I'm really like... Sup being like super quick here, but...
Okay. So now we have uh, the wall almost around the entire base. Um, I think we should hold, except for this part over here. We were attacked here only once. Hopefully it will not happen again before I finish it. Uh, let's do other things. Uh, increase. Probably automate the science would be a good idea. Like, do a proper science automation. No building near biters means no tourist creeping. Yeah, exactly. That's why... Otherwise I would have killed these nests already. Yeah. I wonder if I can kill the uh, these two nests though, because these two nests are a lot easier. Uh, this is an expansion, the only expansion that I have so far. So many biters in that group, yeah. That's how it works when you are in a desert, and the biter is right next to your factory, and I'm going to grow it, so it's going to be even bigger. Alright, I want... Let's uh, put more for the research. Okay. The coal is not coming here. Uh, does it mean that I'm using a lot of power? Not really. I just have more miners to fill up that belt quicker. I'm not sure who told you to do this start, but they were hoping for you to fail. I I did fail though, right? We did. Uh, this is a second attempt. The first try, I did. Uh, I did die, and restarted. In the beginning. Why does he think his power is okay? <laughs> because I'm produ producing half. So I can increase my factory two times and I will still have enough power. Right? The only thing, alright, if we really think about it, this uh, inserter is not going to be quick enough if I, if I use all the power. No, it is, because I'm only using like one steam engine per boiler instead of two. So it should be okay. Okay, coal, coal. Let's just increase even more. Sure. Let's do let's do all the coal. All the coal. Just fill the belt. And that's good. Dun, dun, dun. Some of my things went into yellow for power. What does it mean? Went into yellow for power. When you mouse over them, the window under the map, 
has power bar in it. Yeah. Oh, there was something yellow. Sometimes, let's see. Minor drills. This is the new minor drills that I did. I don't know. I don't see an issue. Here's the first mediums. Let's see. Yeah, no problem. Mediums are no problem. I think. And after this upgrade, it's going to be even less of a problem. I'm one of the few people in the world probably that is over 40 years old. Oh, and never done illicit drugs. Well, I haven't had alcohol in like three weeks. <sighs> I haven't had alcohol in like... Uh, I guess it's a, it has been actually three weeks. Two. Then the only difference between us is that we're younger. That I am younger. And then also the fact that I don't hate mushrooms. It also makes us different. Is Russian vodka is Russian for water? Nah, it's not. I don't drink vodka. I don't like it. Okay, we have officially, uh, we are officially having too much ammo now. Alright, uh, let's do that, the uh, copper smeltery. Automate the copper now.
There we go. Copper is now automated. Tequila then, is that why he was miscounting the push-ups? I was not miscounting the push-ups. is a lie all right um copper is automated this probably something is about to be destroyed yep yep all right do i have more walls and to finish the wall. Uh, that's probably like the next thing that I should do. More miners on the stone. Make the walls faster. The X1000 science map was finished yesterday, yes. We're doing a new challenge now. <laughs> okay, stone. Stone, stone, stone for walls. Let's go like that. Here, like that. Uh, let's do it vertical. This one, two, three, four, five, six. Should be enough. Uh, splitter. Make the coal come here. Okay. Let's not forget about the, uh, the lamps. You can see in the board. Yeah, uh, the uh, on the YouTube the vod is going to be published today. On Twitch you can watch it shit right now. On Twitch they expire. On the YouTube we have all the vods for that challenge. If you're interested. There we go, more walls. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Already subscribed. Nice. Nice. Okay. Um. Let's increase the copper now. I think he was salty when I told him I had to go to bed. We are almost about to launch the locket, but okay. Yeah, you did leave right before we launched the rocket. How could you? The most disappointing part about the rocket is that I tried to fly the rocket by putting a car inside, and then I wanted to fly through the entire base, and then it didn't do it. The rocket just disappeared. Why would you ride the rocket then? Even. If you can't even see the entire base while riding it. They should fix it. They should fix it so that when you ride a rocket it disappears slower. Alright, maybe we can start a proper mall too. This over here uh, is going to be changed a little bit. Let's change this up right now. You ride into crash land into this planet to suffer again. Alright, I guess the thing that I need is to make the double wall soon. Because I don't want to be repairing the walls. That's going to be a lot of work. Um. Okay, anyway. So, four... For the mall, I want to have a belt, um, a belt of iron, and then a belt of gears and electronic circuits. So we're going to do this. No, hold on. Let me figure it out. If the copper is down here, uh, one, one, two, three, like that. That's what I can do. One, two, three, like that. Uh, have some long inserters. Boop, boop. So that's going to be making the uh, these. All right, I guess this is how I'm going to do it then. And then the gears are going to be at the top. This should be enough. One, two, one, two, just like that. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, this. Oh, I guess I will leave it here just for the science, for my temporary science. Uh, 
Uh, and then the actual conveyor belts that I'm going to be doing are going to be here. One, two... It's not a lot of space here. One, two, three. Conveyor belt, the ground splitter. All right, uh, and then the next thing is going to be the inserters. I need the uh, normal and long inserters, and then there's going to be a fast inserter. Fast inserter is just more of the same stuff. I'm just doing uh, this inserter. Boop, boop. Like that. Right, we have inserters, we have belts, uh, conveyor belts are missing that, and that, and that, and that. Okay. Alright, that's the mall. And then we are going to have the... Uh, miners, and then we're going to have the assembly machines. Just have one stack of these. Yeah, okay. And probably work on the wall now. Uh, 33 turrets. Just need some more inserters. So that they don't come through like that. Inserters. Uh, and the walls. All right. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want to die myself. Because we cannot retrieve this stuff from the corpse.
There you go. The assemblers are not aligned and it's triggering. Wait. Which one? Is this is assembler not aligned. Is this better? Yeah, now it's perfect. Okay. Hmm. Um, the wall. Almost the entire wall, except for the top, bottom, right. And a couple gaps. It's finished now. No, you're, we're talking about the spikes image? Alright, I did not look at it. Alright, what's happening there? I guess we can take a look. Oh, yeah, that is triggering. Even to me. The correct way to do it is to use burner inserters to load the turrets and put coal on the inside of the belt closest to the inserters and ammo on the outside. You don't need to run power poles along the wall. I was uh, thinking about doing that. I was literally saying that I might do that and then I decided not to do that. Um, yeah. Why would I do that? It seems like there is going to be more breakage. Whenever I use the burner inserters before, they always run out of fuel in themselves so that they cannot fuel them themselves. Like if I run out of coal, it's a lot easier to fix the broken inserters that are electric than it is to fix the broken burner inserters. Because I, it's like I, I, uh, I need to go there manually if the bro burner inserter is broken. Alright, we have physical projectile damage too. We can take a look at the bonuses. We have damage plus 20% of the turrets. This stacks with ammo bonuses. 20 and 20%. Nice. Nice. Alright. Uh, the next damage upgrade requires the uh, military science. Which means that I need to research it. Steel. Military 2. Military science pack. He's doing so many things wrong. The only thing that will solve his problem is to decide to learn how to play with elegant and efficient designs. Are you talking about spikes? Uh, image. Or what? I'm not following. How is my design not beautiful and elegant? We did not really pay attention to it. The reason you put coal closest to the inserters is so that they don't run out far side coal can. It doesn't matter because if your belt is out of coal, 
right? If your belt is out of coal, then it's going to pick up the ammo anyway, and it's going to not be able to pick up the uh, the fuel, the coal from the even from the inside because it doesn't have any power anyway. If you run the coal on this belt also, by the way, there is a limit of how much uh, you can... of how big this belt is going to be, actually, right? So that's another downside to it. Because, like, if I have a base that is this big, is the coal that's on the inside is even going to be enough for all the inserters? Well, I will probably have the issue with ammo, too. Okay. Okay. 28. Let's add two more. And then it's going to be a full belt. All right. Oh, wait. Hold on. The most important thing that I forgot in my mall is the is the lamp. How did I forget it? Oh, it's also the copper cable. Oh, that's an annoying recipe. Hold on. That recipe actually is annoying. There we go, this works. Oh, you know what? I think I think the way you are doing things is wrong. Where is your base? Let's see your base, Wes. Hold on. Let's see what you are doing wrong. No, 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 no. Let's judge your designs.
Du, 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 du. There you go. This is the correct way to build the power, alright? If you are doing it not like this, you are playing the game wrong, Wes. Okay? There you go. There you go. <clears throat> Just wasted half of the boiler's output? I'm not wasting it. That's not true. That's not true. This setup is strictly better than the setup where you do two steam engines with one boiler. Strictly better. I'm telling you. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, they're coming from the bottom. Imagine not eaten by biters at significantly more power. Simu tone. Hello, hello. Yeah, obviously there is no actual wrong way to play the game. Alright, we need to protect that bottom now. That's the last missing piece. Uh, and then the next upgrade is the double wall. I can't watch people who say like no backseating or no hints or stuff. They are almost always new players and it's blatantly obvious. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, but if you were a new player... I think it's better that you have no spoilers. I like watching those people on the other side. I don't know why you don't like. You don't like laughing at, laughing at people? At their wrong designs? Isn't that what you're doing here? Did I not pick up? Oh, I put it into the science machine, of course. Uh, 
This is you gonna die when speeders come out design. <laughs> It's fine. The speeders are going to come in uh, in a second here. The evolution is 24.8%. Hmm. Alright, the double wall. There you go. No, not the double wall. I don't know. The only change to the wall that I would do is to make it a curvy wall like I did in the other in the X1000. Speeders will stop outside and attack the turrets. They will stop outside and attack the turrets anyway. Because they don't need to pathfind inside at all. All right, we're going to die. Production of magazines. I am using in the last hour 63 a minute. All right, now I'm making three times more than that with all of my iron, but that is all of my iron. Hmm. I can double it from the current patch, and then it's going to be it. Here's the next iron patch, by the way. It's right next to those biters. Okay, we can also, like, kind of try to kill a nest. Should I do it? Should I try to kill a nest? Probably only when I have the piercing rounds, then I will try doing it. Because I will not be able to kill the mediums with my submachine. <clears throat> Building next to biters, yeah. Uh, there was another iron patch I remember on the preview somewhere. That has not been revealed by my raiders yet. I have another expansion on the top here. Dun, do, do, dun, do, dun, do, dun. Okay, I think we should actually, like, work on the military science. Uh, and uh, in the process, we're making the uh, piercing rounds also. Let's work on that. Uh, designing time. Let's go. Uh, 
Uh, probably advanced material processing is going to be the next one, so they're going to upgrade to the steel furnaces soon. Anyone ever played by quarantine in the nests? Yes. Not me. They call it the pacifist challenge, where you're not allowed to kill the biter nests. I've not seen people do that, but I, I have seen people suggest such challenges, which means that probably someone did it, right? And also Michael Hendricks did the run where he started with... Uh, oh, the challenge was literally the f uh, the invincible biter nests. That's what he did. Yeah. He cheated though, because he placed the things on top of the biter so that he they could not spawn anything. That's obviously a cheat. Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to make these stone furnaces anymore. Yeah, don't do that. I will upgrade directly to the to the steel. Didn't we say he had four hundred seventy-one thousand, and so had iron for days? I don't have 471, I have less than 400. I had 300,000 something, and now I have 260,000. I have used 81,000. I had three, 330 something, yeah. Seventy-five. Um, uh, inserters, conveyor belts, and this is working. Okay. Okay, anyway, let's just assume that this is the... This is how we do a smeltery, sure. Why not? Um, it's going to be a little different with the steel furnaces. So I need steel? Hold on, let's, uh, let's start from the other side. Start from the other side. We need a meal tree science pack. Right? Hold on, before doing the military science, I need to do other sciences first, properly. Maybe that's what I should do, right? Uh, what should we aim for? For 30 science per minute? I guess that's the easiest way to do it. I just multiply the amount of assemblers by the speed of crafting.
Do I let it make one a second? Uh, and then we do one, two, three. This is the green signs. Okay. And then... There's gonna be a belt in the middle. And then this is gears and copper. This all comes from iron. Uh, I need. Uh, this is not thirty. Uh, yeah, this is this is thirty a second. I'm not making one a second, I'm making one half a second, because uh, this crafting speed is 0 0.5. Mm, it's a classic, I, but I never did it myself, I guess. Uh, that way. So, yeah. You're saying 5 for black? Yeah, it's 5 for black, because uh, one of the science making two military science packs makes sense. Although military science would be less because we're going to use it less, but whatever. Well, let's just do it like that. The um, and then for the uh, green science, just need uh, one gear. So we just um, go into. One is going to be more than enough for that. One assembler. Okay, and then here we need um, one transport belt and one inserter. Uh, transport belt inserter. And more. And 12 blue, 7 purple, 7 yellow. Yeah, the math is really easy. You should do it that way, right? But I never did it for some reason before. Uh, math this, uh, this way. That's a really easy way to think about it. Here are the, sp is it the speeders. They are here. Um Okay, I think this single gear and do everything we need with that. There is going to be copper. This is going to be copper. Yeah, sure. Which means that there's going to be like Okay, let's do this. Copper and iron. Sure. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, this should be definitely enough. Mm. 
beautiful, right? There you go. The only thing is, I should have flipped it, but it's too late. But it is too late. Um, not sure if this is going to be enough. Hold on, let me just check. Uh, I just need one electronic circuit a second. Which means three copper cable a second. Yeah, one assembler is definitely enough. Right? Uh, the iron... Oh shit, hold on, the iron uh, gear. Oh yeah, there you go. There you go. This is the most beautiful design that you can could think about, right? There you go. Now we just need to connect the things. Mm -hmm. Auto priority on the right. Uh, this priority is not needed, probably. Alright, not a lot of iron and copper is going through to my mole. Don't think I will increase it yet though. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> You're right, Kubi. Your green circuit design is much better than my strange shit. <laughs> Alright, and then we move the labs. Alright, I have a f bad feeling. What is happening there? Oh, that was uh, the section without a lot of turrets. And also they're breaking through the wall. I need to place more walls. Oop. Oop. Oop, poop, poop. Done. Uh, if I have... Um, 30 a minute. Fifteen labs for the thirty second researches. How long is this research? Thirty labs, I guess, for the future when I like double it. But then there is also the lab speed. I guess something about 20 is the correct amount, right? <laughs> this one is already 30 seconds. I think most of this is going to be 30. 30 and this one is 60 seconds, actually. Alright, I only have 3 laps for, for now. I need to craft more. Hmm. 
Um, uh, the only thing is probably probably need to do something like that instead of this over here because this is the line for the ammo. Other than that, I'm going to split in half this and that. To do like that instead. A splitter without a priority. Bum, 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 bum. Why is the wall so slow to, re to repair? I only am going to be repairing the inner wall, not the outer. That's the reason we have a double wall. The outer is just going to be replaced. And the inner is supposed to not be touched. I think. Dun, 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 dun. Right. 27% evolution. <clears throat> Good luck. Right. Thank you. Eski. 97, thank you for the follow. Alright. Alright, okay. I have a lot of walls. Uh, advanced material processing. This is the uh, steel furnace is going to be researched soon. I need uh, to be smelting some steel. What is this? This is not a good sound. You don't notice, but you're thirsty. I am. Actually, I am also hungry. Uh... So there is two possibilities. One, I end the stream early, or two, I have a break for food and we make a longer stream today. I'm not sure what to do yet. Okay, my, my belt actually was broken. Hold on. I might die just because of that. If that happens again, and my belt is empty right now. Uh, I think it's going... It's, uh, I think it's okay.
need more. Sure, it's over there. You are not hungry. Wes did not stream for a few years. Did you stream before? Have a break, but Poison is cheating. <laughs> I mean, the base is not going to break if I just leave it running, right? Nothing bad is going to happen, right? Hmm. I complained that there was a huge... Death of high quality Victoria streams. Someone said, then fix it. So I did. And I changed the game when I did. Nice. What exactly was changed because you played? Hmm. That was a few years ago, you say. I don't remember any big changes after Factorio 1.0. But I, I like it's not like I was following it really. Alright, there you go. The steel furnace. We can upgrade. Oh, I cannot upgrade. I need to I need the steel itself. I think this is where the second half of the iron is going to go for for steel. Um <clears throat> Okay, we actually are going to do that after a break. Oh, hold on. Do I even have food? Hold on, let me check. I think I might need to like order food because I forgot to. Oh, okay, I have a little bit. But I will need to order more. Um, okay. Yeah. We're doing a break. And I am pausing the game. Pausing the game while I'm eating is not cheating. Alright. It is not. Let's uh, have a new save. Um, bullet. Bullet. There you go. That's a big bullet. <clears throat> and nor it is for push-ups. Alright, fine. You want to have push-ups? I guess the base is uh, stable now, so we can have uh, the push-up breaks. I think we can do it even without the breaks now. Channel points... Push-ups. There you go. It is enabled again. My arms. I don't feel the arms. I feel the uh, I feel the chest after yesterday. A little bit, but I think it's fine. You know, the uh, I just need to accept it and continue doing the push-ups. Well, deck. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Uh... 
Yo. I don't know if you've seen this on camera, but it actually, it, I actually did feel it. I actually did feel it. All right. Good luck, Valdek, with your push-ups. I'm going to go and eat now. That was hard, actually. You did too. <laughs> All right. It, it it wasn't hard to do, but I actually like uh, just just the pain is there. But actually doing it was not that hard. I think I guess. Okay. Okay, guys. Ten fifteen minutes break.
Okay. I am back. <clears throat> Spike, you did 20 push-ups. Did you... Were you doing the push-ups the entire day yesterday with me? Or not? Are you saying that you don't feel the yesterday's push-ups? Hmm. You know what? I am thinking that we can have a special discount for today's push-ups. Because I really don't mind doing them, but the discount is going to be negative. Alright. Yeah. So like that. That sounds like a good number. Alright. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, resume. We are, uh, in the process of converting to using steel. Using steel, we will be making steel furnaces. Steel furnaces are going to be good because we're going to use less coal. It doesn't really like save a lot, but it's a little bit of uh, extra pollution that's going to be saved. Uh, and also a little bit of space is going to be saved here too. Because of that, I guess. Uh, then I'm going to be doing the... Uh... Alright, uh, steel, 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 steel. Then I'm going to be doing the uh, red ammo with steel. And then we're going to do military science. Uh, to do more damage. Probably. Or is it time for a defender? Defender is cheaper. Three times cheaper than the physical projectile damage. Is this where I go for defender already? There is also other possibilities, which are uh, going for modules. Going for modules requires only red and green. This is a lot of research, though. This is a lot of research. But I could do for that. Go for that instead of increasing my damage. I could decrease the number of attacks, right? That's a good thing. That's a really good thing. But that requires oil. Which is over here. Hmm. No, we have to. 30% evolution. Uh, let's do some research, though. Some research needs to happen. For example, I can do a car. A car is good. <clears throat> what else? Heavy armor. Modular armor. Uh, modular armor later. Heavy armor, yes. Steel axe? Probably, maybe. <clears throat> I think it's a car, the most useful research right now. Electric energy distribution, maybe. Solar energy, I'm not going to do that. Uh, circuit network, though, that's good. Uh, some automation, too, that one is good. Hold on, that one is good, right? They are doing less pollution, right? Three per minute, or are they not? Uh, three pollution per minute, I think I should do that. They'll also do more labs. Um, three per minute, and this one is doing four per minute. Yeah, yeah, it's faster and it's doing less pollution also. Yeah, that one is good. 
Um, Alright, in the meantime... Uh, for the first smelteries... Of steel... We have four stacks of, of iron. <clears throat> okay. That is going to be my first steel. I need uh, six steel plates. Or one furnace. I should also take a look at how many of the ammo am I using. I'm using a hundred ammo a minute. Hundred ammo. In the last hour I have been using a hundred. That's pretty stable number. A hundred. I am making a hundred and sixty seven. I'm going to start using more because of the mediums, though, right? Mm. Alright, let's prepare somewhere. The... Um, the thing. Uh, for the steel furnaces. Let's do them over here. Steel furnaces. 12. I will be able to pull uh, about a full belt. Right? So, yeah. Let's do this. <clears throat> And then there's going to be... Let's just do two belts like that, sure. Stuff is not coming for the mole. Glora, sex, hello, hello. <clears throat> Did I finish the 1000? Yes. Yesterday. I finished it yesterday. Let's do the bottom one. One tile lower. Uh, so this is going to be the output belt. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, what? I miscounted, apparently. Uh, let's have the inside belt. Be the fuel belt, sure. I don't need to build the second half of it yet. This is going to be the output and then the input here also. Going to be like that. How am I going to power that without the electric energy distribution one?
mean, I can just do this instead, but yeah. Whatever. Automation 2. Push ups. Oh no. Oh no. <clears throat> Twenty thousand, that's too many. Yeah, that's a that's a discount special for today. That's a limited time offer. You can only You can request the push ups for only twenty thousand. All right, I think we're going to be fine. Uh, where's my phone, though? Have you ever considered becoming a telemarketer? Uh, no. Ah, that was hard. That was hard. Have you heard of the Rust programming language? Our Lord and Savior, Ferris the Crab? <laughs> Alright, Automation 2 is done. Uh, sure, let's do electric energy distribution. No? Gate, maybe? What am I going for here? Ah. Let's go for a car, just because I will have to be walking, right? For... Like, the next iron patch. If it's not this one, the, the other one is even further out. I need to find where it is. And I will need the car to run away from the biters. Yeah, that's that's important. So that I don't die. Engine car. Hmm. Okay. This is out of fuel for some reason. Uh, we have a little bit of steel furnaces. We have we can do twelve. Nice. Nice. <clears throat> nice. 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 Uh, I guess that is going to be the first. Set of furnaces here. Let's do that. There we go. Everything is properly powered. 
You just need to connect the belt. Uh, more miners and connect the coal too. <clears throat> Ending. You know when there was a band which makes uh, really good music, but whenever you talk to one of their fans, you don't want to ever be listening to their music? <laughs> this is how I feel about Rust. Ah, shit, my conveyor belts are not here. It's all of the iron, literally all the iron goes towards... This thing. Conveyor belts. All right, here's my coal, and then it's going to be the iron. That's the wrong way. Actually, need to go this way. There we go. There we go. The steel is automated. Power ball. Looks like we have lost a couple turrets. <clears throat> it won't work for you today. Time to start Factory and think about food. You're ordering a watermelon for the watermelon Wednesday? Uh, this probably is not necessary, actually. This can be deleted completely. I don't need that. Wamburger Wednesday. <laughs> okay. We have steel. That is good. Which means that I can do even more steel furnaces. I have even more steel. <clears throat> Alright. We are almost ready. Almost ready. I just need to be fixing things all the way around. Um, dun, dun, dun. this power pole. Let's do this here and this here. I don't think that I need to add more on this side. So it's just going to be walled a little better. The only ingredient that is... No, hold on. No, no. Never mind. Yeah. 
This has been destroyed multiple times. Uh, I think we need more turrets in this area. Let's do even more. Oh, wait, hold on. I don't have more. I'm out of turrets. Do I have more? A little bit. 39. I have a lot of walls. Deserters. Hello, Nerdso. I was building near biters. Building near biters is where you attack. When you attack, you place a lot of uh, things. Find the turrets. That is not allowed. Because that's OP. Of course. Turret creep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, in general, this rule, uh, like, also, like, nurses, it's like, if you just use that rule, you can also not build landmines, because that's also building, right? You cannot attack with landmines then, too. But the idea is the same. Oh, and mines are OP. Yeah, that's why I disabled them. For this challenge. We don't want to be OP. We want to suffer in this world. No suffer, no fun, right? You're very Russian. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
Uh, all right, we have steel, we have uh, ammo, and we have copper. I just need to, to place a couple more miners on the copper, and then we will be able to make the red ammo. That's one of the ingredients for the... For the black science. And the red ammo is going to be used anyway. One of these is being made in three seconds, so I need three times as much of these guys. Where am I even going to place them? Hmm. I guess in this corner. Have a little bit of space. Alright, let's just make this rotatable first. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Red. And then... And then we do six more. Go to this. One, two, three, like that. Inserters. I do not have inserters. Mods. I'm not using mods. This is vanilla. This is a uh, pure vanilla suffering. Good quality of life. I don't know what is the quality of life like the uh, even distribution I don't need it it only helps the first five minutes of the game it doesn't matter Quick through. Yeah, that one also doesn't matter. That one makes the game easier because you cannot go through certain things. Because you can go through certain things with it. Calculator stuff. I have my calculator over here. It's called Python. Python is the best calculator ever, right? I mean, you can even have the in game console here as a calculator. Print two plus two. There you go. It says four. Uh, 
Dum, dum, dum. The math that I'm doing is so easy that, like, I don't need cal calculated for it, really, right? I mean, sometimes I, I do a little bit in Python, yeah. Do, 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 do. All right, I really need this thing. Uh, I really need this thing to have more iron inside. I am like, is it because I'm using? Yeah, I'm using more and more. I'm using uh, 140 in the last 10 minutes already. store some brick Do like that. At least uh it's not going well. Hold on, I need to I need something to happen soon. Maybe logistics too was not the move. I'm just uh I'm just polluting right now. Right? Hmm, maybe red ammo is going to save me. Uh, steel and copper, right? Steel and copper. You think red ammo is going to save me? It is 8 damage. Compared to 6. From 6 damage, we are going to 9.6. Hmm. Redemo is a huge step forward. Yeah, it is. It is. But uh and then and then we're going for straight for the physical damage. Um the only question is how much iron. We used a third of the iron here already. Uh so that also might be like a problem, maybe. That's why I'm doing the car research, that I can find it. Although technically it should not be the car, it should be the railway, right? I know. Okay, uh, this steel and, and then we also have copper over here, combine these two together, combine these two together. Then quickly to nuclear ammo, yeah. Alright, we started to make it. To make it, that's already good. That's already good. And then we just need to increase the speed of making it. 
It's not that hard, right? Discovered all buildings to blue. I need to do that, yes. I researched the blue uh, assembly machine already. Yeah, now I now I have steel. I, I can do that, actually, right? It's not even that hard. It actually is really easy. Hold on. I will do it right now. Blue... This and steel. There you go. Beautiful. It's done. We're running out of ammo here. Okay, we actually need to stop using red ammo. Just stop using the yellow ammo, I think, right? I'm just going to only use the red. Give it all the red that I have on me. is on the belt but we have a lot of empty spaces on the belt that is that is not good The copper is also going to run out, I think, right? Do I need to increase the copper? I mean, I kind of have it some amount. Uh, I have some bad lane math. 7.5 is not enough for copper. I'm not making a full belt here, right? Hold on, I'm not even sure how much I'm making. I'm just I just tripled the, the, the this amount. I'm having 18, which is only going to be making uh five six uh six a second or th three a second, which means that I need 15 copper a second. Yeah, I need copper on its own belt. You're right. You are right. And then I also need to smelt more copper. Uh, maybe this amount is going to be enough? Any chance is it's going to be enough? Uh, another possibility is I will just do this, you know, because I'm lazy to fix it properly. We're just do going to do this, right? There you go. Now 
Now the math is correct, right? <laughs> assemblers. Okay. The most important assemblers are these. Let's increase those. And that's it. I don't have any more iron. Okay. Let's upgrade the furnaces. Not that it's going to matter much, but... And smelt more copper, yes. Which means mine more copper. A little bit. Okay. Oh, one of the turrets already has the red ammo inside. That's nice. Going to run out of the resources? Yeah, yeah, I'm keeping that in mind. We have this iron patch. We have this iron patch. With the uh, guys on top. Uh, I just need to start the... Uh, the research but yeah we used a third of the iron that we have engine is about to be finished yeah i'm thinking of railway just like for the same reasons as in the x1000 we want the railway if we were to choose between these two the railway is better New playthrough, indeed. Hello, hello. And there might be a, this playthrough might be restarted soon too, in case we die, because things are a little scary right now. Hopefully, this red ammo that I made is going to fix it. I'm losing a lot of turrets currently. That's it, I don't have any more. Um, should maybe be helping them. 
when this attack is coming. I'm not going to help like a lot, but uh Oh wait, hold on. No, I am. I am going to help. If I'm shooting the speeders, right? Or I can sometimes put the ammo in. <laughs> because the belt is empty. Okay. I also almost died myself. <laughs> Let's take a look at the production. Piercing. Well, I'm doing 46 a minute. Okay. Uh, I'm just missing the copper currently. Just need more copper. One second. Uh, oh, railway is researching very quickly. I guess it's because I'm not making the ammo right now. Oh, hold on. I'm, I'm making no ammo right now because I only enabled the red. Alright. Hopefully we don't die. Don't die. It's kind of okay. Alright, let me open the door. Okay. All right, all right. I like that. Look at this. They are trying to gather for a group here. But they're trying to gather right near my wall so they don't even actually gather. That's good. I like that. I'm just killing them off one by one. The railway is done. Does it mean that... Shit, I'm still not ready. Like, let, let's do the heavy armor. I don't like dying. Let's do heavy armor. Inserters. And push ups. Easy. I hope you gorly. One second. Twenty thousand for push ups every thirty minutes. Robbery? How is it robbery? No, 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 no. It's basically like free push ups. That's like the opposite of robbery. All right.
<sighs> All right. I mean, it's not that bad. It's the first one that is the hardest one. Whenever I do the first one, then I really feel it. Then it's becoming easier, actually. <clears throat> Item ingredient shortage. Copper, yes. Um... Yes, I need more copper. Maybe I should not have done the research until I upgraded, you know? Maybe that's like the thing that I would change. I could do all of that research that I'm doing after I have upgraded to red ammo. That would be smart, maybe. Okay, heavy armor is here. A bunch of mining drills, a bunch of assemblers. Okay, we can actually upgrade all the assemblers. I think, or most of them. Okay. <clears throat> the half of well should be smelted, the other half should also go like there. Something that this is going to be the full belt then. Alright, I have zero ammo on the belt. I am going to die, guys. This is death. This is how it all ends. This challenge was ambitious. Good job, everyone. See you next time. <laughs> Alright. Hello, what challenge? We're doing the uh, bullet-only challenge. And the desert. I guess, yeah. We, like, I'm not even at the part where I could do... Well, I guess if I was... Do yeah. Okay, so the challenge that, I, that I'm doing is the bullet-only challenge. We have uh, the rules over here. No fish, no flamethrowers, no laser, no landmines. I guess the hardest part is the desert part. Or the fact that I did not kill the nests. Right? out of ammo.
I should be doing right now nothing except for the ammo. Should at least get some yellow, just in case. Should have done a different poll. Should have done a poll. Are we going to survive? Or is there going to be the attempt number three? You're back for the interesting part? Yeah, that's the interesting part here. Are we going to die or not? I'm going to cut off this line. I don't want my mole. I don't even want my mole. I mean, it's almost empty though. Uh, it's almost full, so it doesn't really matter. Just, uh... Yeah, sure, let's continue. It is almost full. I just need to stop this and that. This is, uh, these are the only things that are working. Plus the uh, conveyor belt. But it's whatever. Alright, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. No need to stop. You will die, but not yet. <clears throat> okay. I need even more. Of this... Stuff. Do 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 do. This is bad. I can't even like do anything if I if I go there myself. It doesn't matter. Let's, let's try and see. Maybe I can. This is the uh, furthest point for the bullets to travel, also. No, wait, hold on. I'm out of ammo myself. <laughs> hold on, I need something for myself. Eleven ammo. Okay, maybe. There's another attack on the right.
No. There's literally zero turrets here. No, I'm dead. My shotgun. Is my shotgun going to help? If I shotgun the speeders? Is it savable? Alright. Is this savable? I can try turning everything off and just like... See what happens then. run i can run somewhere and start a new base hold on how about that <laughs> this run is not over i'll be back stupid biters i just need to pick up a lot of items and build a new base somewhere right This run is over. It is not over yet. You're not... That's not right. Let me make a car and I'm going to ride very far away. Years. How many do I need? Eight. Hmm. All right. Can the car be researched before they destroy my entire base? The power is already down. All right. Let me pick up some of the remaining items from the Chests, maybe. Pick up everything from the belts. That's a lot of iron, right? Let's spend it on something useful. Repair packs. Oh wait, this doesn't work. Because this needs power. Shit. All done. Alright, well I have the ingredients for the car. Maybe let's uh, grab the science packs. That's important. Yeah, I have enough here to research the car. Alright. Just need some, uh, some copper. Maybe? Take labs? I did take a bunch of assembly machines, uh, for example. And lamps. Lamps are important.
Uh. All right, run, 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 run. Fine. Bye. This base was nice. Okay, I mean, actually, we can restart. Because I don't even, like, this iron is too close, this iron is too close to the biters. But, and I don't see another one. We, we will, we can find another iron that is, like, not that close. Though. New seed. Alright. New seed. There's another attack group. Something nice and foresty. We want to remove the desert from this challenge. I don't know, I kind of like desert, because I never played through the desert death world. This beginning is not even, like, different from the normal desert death world, right? I need to, like, be able to do that anyway. That can be, like, a different challenge, obviously, though. We can do separately uh, bullet only, and we can do a separately desert death world at some point. Oh, here's the iron, by the way. There you go. This is my new base location. All right, let's do a poll. I don't, I, I don't really care what we do here. Restart? Question mark? I mean, probably yes. Uh, no. All right. Anyone, anyone who doesn't want me to restart. Because technically, I think it's always possible to come back in this game, right? No, okay. I have decided myself. Restart. They will eat me quickly here. But I have everything researched that I need. Alright. Quit the game. Fine. Number three. Let's go again. So here we go, guys. The uh, rules again. No fish, no flamethrowers, no laser, no landmines. No building near biters. Items lost on death. Let's add to this rule. L let's do this poll. Hold on, let's do this poll. Uh, desert? Question mark. Yes. Uh, forest. Okay. Okay, there you go. I kind of want to do desert. But we can do it on a, like, just a normal desert death world. Because it only... Yeah, I don't know. A vote. Do we do a desert death world or a forest death world? With the current rules, the bullet only. Desert, no chance? No, I think there can be a chance. We just need to figure out how to do it better. I think, uh, like, the, like, Desert Death World is definitely possible. People have done that, right? It's not an impossible challenge, but usually people do that with flamethrowers. So I could have uh, spent all of my science that I had there on flamethrowers, and I could have flamethrowers by exactly that time when I was dying, right? Because I had everything except for the military science I had already, right? And military science was not very far away. And we don't need that much. We only need 50 military science for the flamethrower to be done. Alright, anyway. You guys say forest. Four people for forest, one person for the desert. Alright, fine. Fine, so terrain, we just do the default death world, R literally default death world, right? You missed the push-ups? Uh, 
<clears throat> you actually did bullet only Death World Marathon? You just waited a lot? <laughs> what flamethrower? I thought it's bullet only. No, I'm saying that like we are not trying on to do only bullet only. We're trying we we're trying to do bullet only desert death world. Right? And maybe that is too much. At least yet. Maybe we can maybe we need to like come back to that a little later. I don't know. It's going to be a normal death world this time. Did he do the 20 push-ups? Yeah, I did the 1,000 push-ups. Sorry, you missed it. All right, this 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 map. We we, we do this map. <clears throat> Will he honor the pole? The pole was saying that. We are doing the, the forest this time, so there you go. Just the bullet only. Alright. This map looks okay. The ball that said 10,000 for 10 push-ups per 20 minutes. Okay, fine. There you go. I did it. Okay, uh, let's start. The new game. What happened to the last attempt? Oh, I got eaten. Um, yes. Well, I did not. I, I, I ran away from my base. I could have continued. Alright. I'm pretty sure the forest is going to be not that hard. Like, we did Death World before. I didn't... No spoon on Death World. Um, but I was using landmines there, so yeah. It's gonna be different anyway. Did you do Lazy Bastard? Yeah, I was doing the Lazy Bastard and, uh, well, basically all, all the achievements on the Death World. The getting on track like a pro and uh, No Spoon and Lazy Bastard. A furnace. Where's my stone? There's no rocks here, right? There's one rock. There's a uh, forest. I'm, I'm I'm not scared. I'm absolutely not scared. 
I guess, uh, well, th there is still a difference, right? Because we're not going to be able to clear the nests, right? So, it is going to be different. Which is going to be attacked less than the, in the last run. I'm a bit confused. You can build near their nests and you can use bullets only. Will you be able to clear them out in order to expand? Uh, yeah, using the... Uh, using the combat robots. This one, the defender. That's the idea, at least. I didn't try that ever. So hopefully it's going to work. Because by the time we get there, we are going to probably have the big biters, right? Because uh, it's going to be the same as in the previous run. Uh, boiler. The offshore pump. Electric mining drill. Electric power poles. Steam engine is the last thing that's missing here, I think. You can use grenades too. Yeah, I guess technically we can allow grenades, but yeah. My own restriction. Yeah, I mean, it's just... We can, we can try spelling it differently. But basically, it means that you're not allowed turret creep. We can just say turret creep is not allowed. Instead. Fallback turrets would work. Yeah, I guess fallback turrets, uh, yeah, based on the distance. I think we can... Yeah, I, I think fallback turrets, I don't want those either. Yeah. Let's do it without the, the fallbacks too. <clears throat> Unless it is our base. Base can be the fallback.
I forgot to put the coal in. Right. <laughs> All right, since we are in a forest and I'm completely not scared, let's do the automation immediately. Sure. We're going to have the... Uh... The smell tree. Yeah, sure, let's do it over here. The, origi the, uh, the first one, at least. There you go. The iron is fully automated. Immediately. Amazing. Alright. Spike's doing the push-ups. Watching the stream from the very beginning. Okay. Sure. Ah. How much iron do I have? It's like the same amount as the last time. The starting patches are not that much RNG, I think, right? What's the biggest and the smallest patch that you can get? So far, in every single world, I have like about 350. Somewhere around that number. Okay, I need uh, I need stone for that to work, and I don't have any rocks. Oh, that is rocks. Hold on, in that forest, that is rocks.
There's a rock over here. Under these trees somewhere. No? No, I don't see it. Over here? That's the rock. Use the reconstruction planner and fill the altar and only rocks. That's too much work. You have to whitelist. Oh, I guess it's not that much work. It's just three types of rocks, sure. Here's one more. This pistol, I will not need pistol. There's no way I will need pistol. Hmm. I did not pay attention to the... Um, to the preview, though. I know how close the biters are on the left. There's not a lot of forest here. Uh, let's craft the armor. More drills. Okay. Let's automate uh, this stuff immediately. How much is it going to be? Can you do a slash color hashtag and then copy paste? Can I do that? Oh, I can. Nice. I can just copy paste the color from chat. That's good. It used to have the alpha channel <laughs> slash color zero zero. Oh wait, zero zero is on the okay. It's it it, it is a RGB, not RGBA. Okay, but then the alpha is not here. Okay, anymore. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, first we increase the power.
I also thought that would be awesome. Just make the character invisible. <laughs> Alpha Zero. Am I going to be invisible to the buyers then? Two. Okay, uh, let's automate the copper a little bit. Have another line of miners, one, two, three. Yeah, let's do one, two, three more. I'm going to have that, that. Okay, the copper automated. Let's do a reader. This is so chill. It's not it's like I'm not even playing Death World here. Hmm. Armor is here, okay, uh, science packs, science to do automation, right, we start with automation here, I want to know if there is enemies to the left or not, there better not be any enemies. There is none, okay. Easy. <laughs> Someone clip that and play it back every time he dies. <laughs> Not going to die. There's no way. There's no way I die on the on the forest map. No way. Impossible. All right. Let's um. Let's do what? I don't know. Waiting for the signs. The root. The ammo. Seem to feel pretty safe. But I am safe. Look at this. There is no one here. This is the closest enemy. It's behind the forest. And a lake, I guess, too. This, that, automation. 
Okay, I can start actually automating things here. The hardest thing, I guess, is doing that. Go cloud, wait, wrong game. What's the cloud? What's the cloud from? I don't get the reference. What is a final fantasy character? Here's my iron, and here's my copper. I just need to put that on a belt, like that. And we can start making things. <laughs> Do I even need turrets? <laughs> Do I even need turrets in this world? So much green. Fifty-five or sixty-five today? Did I do sixty-five? Fifty-five push-ups today? Years ago, I was over cautious and researched turrets before automation. Well, in the de in the desert, I had to do the turret before automation. I mean, I didn't really have to, but like, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three, four, five, six. Conveyor belts. Two long inserters. Dun, 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 dun. There you go. This is the uh, first part of it, and then... And then we're doing... That. Why are push-ups 100,000? That's just a special... Discount, only for today. Be quick. Because it's going to not last forever, this price, you know? Hmm. 
Right? Still safe? Still safe. Still safe. So we can start with the mall instead of doing the turrets. We can probably do a, like a proper science setup immediately here. Right. Okay, let's uh, let's just start with uh, making the uh, the conveyor belts. Conveyor belt. But he cannot do 25 like that. Hmm. When are you going to stream, you say? We didn't see you do the push-ups. You only say you are doing push-ups. But no one ever saw you do push-ups. So technically I'm doing more than you. The... Uh, we have seen me do more than we have seen you do the push-ups, right? Watch me do them. It's not loading for me. Oh. That you? That's just a looped video. <laughs> That's just a looped video. What? It's just a GIF that is looped. That's cheating. And stand push up when? Maybe after, I mean, maybe, maybe, I'm not sure if I can do it, probably can though, but not today, not today. Bum, 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 bum. That does not like good healthy push-ups. Wait, what was wrong with those push-ups? I didn't see anything wrong there. Din, din, din. Highly recommend do less of them. Assemblers, more assemblers, 
An assembler making assemblers is the next one. Uh, let's do everything on one side, actually. This is going to be the underground, probably, and then... Um... And this... Assembler. Like that. People who do too many too fast often hurt themselves long term and also don't build the proper muscles. Really? I never heard about that. Dun, 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 dun. Putin and power, need to, uh, to increase my power production. Alright, is it time for science yet? Is it time for me? I mean, I can defend myself manually, I don't need a turret yet. Uh, no need for, no need for a turret. Okay. I will need to... When I increase the production further, though. around there is some rocks in that forest there is one rock it's probably easier if I just start mining it though your head a bit up more yeah that the, the head part i did want to say about it, it looks like you were looking in the ground that's i don't know i don't know if that's like wrong though But uh, when you do the push-ups, if you look down, then your head is going to hit the floor, is the thing. So, like, that's the reason I'm looking forward, I guess, usually.
When the nose touches the carpet, I start to go back up. <laughs> that teaches you to control the power? No, you're supposed to... You're supposed to t touch it with your chin, right? Literally. The chin, the... Uh, and the chest at the same time. Something like... Uh, something like that. In one hour, bring the push-ups down to 15,000 and we'll go 10 more upper ones with proof. No, you need to redo all the 100 that we did already, but now you do it properly. <laughs> okay. I can offer 1.5,000, take it or leave it. <laughs> the perfect push-ups. Family, here's how to do a perfect push-up in less than one minute. To find the right hand placement, lay on your chest and experiment with the width. Until one, your forearms are in a straight line, and two, elbows are right over the wrist. You will have to tuck them in slightly to accomplish this. Remember the distance and start in a quadruped position. Shoulders over the wrist, hips over the knees. Extend both legs back, heels and legs together, quads engaged, glutes and abs engaged. Push the hips down to form a 180 degree angle between the legs and the torso. Extend the spine slightly, rotate the elbows slightly back. The scapulas are fully depressed and neutral at this point. Initiate the movement by bringing your shoulders back. Lower down and fully retract your scapulas at the bottom. Elbows should be roughly at 45 degree angle, forming a perfect triangle with your head. Then push yourself up to the initial position. Make sure to keep the body line throughout the entire movement by keeping tension in the areas mentioned. Let's keep in mind that there are many other ways to do push-ups, we just cover the basic version. Remember, it's not about the movements we do, but how we do them that matters. Move mindfully, we love you. There you go. That was a quick tutorial for you guys. And for me too, I guess. Do I accept your challenge? E is MC. That's wrong. That's wrong. E is MC squared. What you are saying is wrong. Pollution. Alright, here we go. The basic stuff is done. Let's do the science now. Alright, let's do the science like over here. Once again, one, two, three, four, five. That's going to be the the red. And then we're going to have the uh, copper and iron going here. Okay, yeah, sure. I'll bring the iron myself. I mean, I have the iron myself here already. I just, I just have this for the original uh, couple. One, two, three, four, five. And then labs. We do the um, logistics. Right? These guys are going to attack, but I don't I'm not scared of them. I'm not scared. I'm gonna do logistics first and then I'm going to do the the turret. Uh, is this limited? It is. 
Good. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have uh, let's have iron and copper coming this way. This is going to be iron on the bottom. Yeah, whatever. Let's do iron on the bottom. And this is copper. Oop. This is a gear. And we go. I did not have enough gears for the logistics. Two more laps, too. One, two. All right, now I'm polluting, guys. Are we scared now? Nah. This is going to be the, the thing. it's going to be further down because I'm going to have more of that stuff here make it faster and then over here is going to be the fast inserter uh, so this is going to be the thing Okay, logistics is done. Undergrounds. Splitters. There you go, science is automated. I don't want to watch the rest of the VOD. Why did you have to restart? Oh, because apparently I'm not that good at the game. That is why. Alright, turret. Uh, turret. Is this thing over here? I'll make one manually. Uh, hopefully this is the only ones. I wish I could see further. They are already attacking the trees instead of me. Okay, that's good. Alright, all I just need right now is more iron. Technically. To have uh, the miners here. Okay. The science. Let's continue the research. So what am I going forward? Uh, very quickly. Um, I'm just going to do the the green science immediately. Actually, you know what? We are going straight for the for the military too. You know, when I, when I'm going to have the wall, it's going to be the wall of red. 
then immediately. There you go. Figured it out. Neil tree. This is so different from the desert. I ran out of ammo on my belt, Spike. So I couldn't defend myself anymore. Because I was in the process of converting to red. And uh, I didn't do it properly. Yes. Should have left some of the yellow ammo on the belt. Maybe. I don't know. Alright, this is technically not necessary because I'm not using that much of the green chips yet. And we can do more these two. Just so it's faster. Should be enough. Copper cable, I did not ask for that. Um, that is wrong. Now it's right. Hmm. Okay. Uh, the turret is one of the final things here in this mall. That's going to uh, be fixed soon, though. That is going to be fixed soon. It's okay. Logistic science pack is done. We can start setting that up. We need an emote. <laughs> getting shit on yet hello king no i'm not this game is easy as you can see i only made one turret this death world is not a challenge Only one turret? That's all, I, that's all I need. That's all I need. Oh shit, oh shit, hold on. I see the guys coming. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Might need more turrets. Oh shit, someone was... Something was killed. Uh, 
There we go. Easy. Is it from this nest or what? Or is there something more to the left? Doesn't look like I'm polluting them, really. Ah, shit. Oh, shit. They're coming from the bottom. Okay, time to actually make the, the turrets. Maybe let's uh, limit this to be uh, a little less. Alright, there you go. Where did they come from? Where did they come from? I'm not polluting these guys. What? Oh, why did they decide to attack me? It doesn't make sense to me. What? I'm only polluting these. Is there an expansion? Uh, I would see uh, the thing. Okay, I just need more. I guess I'm crafting them manually. Because the miners are in the very end. Uh, fine, let's just craft the turrets first. Sure. Just two turrets should be enough. Do another raider in the bottom, maybe. Uh, this is already more than I can do. Need more furnaces now. There was also this thing and that thing that I didn't set up. Underground and splitter. Did the biters make the rules? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, we also started with uh, doing it in a desert, but that's now the forest map because we failed. Alright, military 2 has been researched already. This shit is so easy. Let's do the uh, steel furnaces. This is so much different. Alright, the beginning.
I'm not even going to... I'm just going to make the steel furnaces immediately. Whatever. You think I made a mistake? I will be exiting. You can... You can tell me all about my mistakes, sure. I don't... I think it matters. Uh, 12. That's enough for half of a belt. And then... We are going to have... Splitter... Here... And then Splitter here... This... Goes this way... Hmm. Enters not gear wheels. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just forgot to place this, I guess. But there, the iron is not coming here anyway. Should have made this like closer to the bottom because that's the important thing. I don't know. Maybe it's not that important on the forest map. So far, I'm okay with my. Two turrets placed. Mm. Alright, you know what? The optics. The optics is the important research. We need to do that one. That one is the important one. <clears throat> and then Advanced material processing needs steel, so I will need some steel. I can start smelting some little bit of steel already, I guess. Um, one, two, three, four. Hmm. Yeah, okay. And then also need to smelt the brick for the steel furnaces. I think one here should be enough. For me, for now.
Go science. Yep. Science is uh is really quick here. Because I don't need to spend a lot of iron for my uh for the ammo yet. Is my evolution even like most of it because of the time? No, it is. Okay, still 90% time. Alright. So that could be... Uh... More about pollution at this point. I mean, I'm not going that quick here, right? Not going that quick. <clears throat> okay, we have nine labs. Steel is being produced. The brick. Uh, one furnace is ten brick. I can do more of those. Dun, 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 dun. Should not see blue bijas in this run. Takes about 12 hours. No, I will see blue bijas. What do you mean? Are you talking about the green? The behemoths? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the behemoths probably will happen only after... The um, the rocket. Need more coal on iron. Uh, I don't think I need. Okay, steel furnaces. We just go to those directly. Blue fifty percent approximately twelve hours to occur. Rocket can be done faster. Oh shit! Hold on, one second. I'm being destroyed. Um. The 12 hours is only if we are evolving only using time. But we're not going to evolve only using time. The big biters are going to happen for sure. 50% evolution is really easy to get to. Oh, I guess that's why they were coming from the left. Because I was polluting these guys, but they are joining that squad. And also that... Alright, I need to... Yeah, my ammo is not automated yet. I'm going to die. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Hmm. Let's have this. It's just the turret. This turret ran out of ammo. That's what happened. Let's give it the red ammo. You were. Why not? Pum pum.
Okay. This should be good enough. Alright. Now I need to start producing the ammo automatically, actually, though. Um, I'm just thinking of starting with the red ammo Im immediately, you know? That's what I'm trying to do here. I think it's going to work. These guys from the right, I don't I still don't understand. Where did they come from? Where are they coming? Why are they coming from the right? I'm not polluting anyone on the right. Is it is it like the same way? These guys are trying to join the attack group somewhere on the right for some reason. There's nothing there. Don't they get aggro because of your rider? No, they don't attack unless I pollute them. In the vanilla. I'm not supposed to be attacked here. Unless there is an expansion here. That happened. They go out to settle and fight the smoke cloud? No, if they 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 can set the they can uh, settle inside the, the pollution cloud that can happen yes, but that's different. They first settle and then they start setting other attack groups. Pretty sure if they go on expansion and then the expansion happens to be inside the pollution cloud they don't go for your base i don't think so Hmm. Okay. I think I'm kind of doing okay still. I just need the iron itself to be increased. Uh, I'm not doing any research. Any research that I should do? The physical projectile damage? I'm going really quickly here, so I'm not really, like, scared. We're 10%. I don't really care. What is the use, more useful thing that I can do? I mean, the stone wall. Military research. And then we can go directly into the defender, maybe, and try it out. Heavy armor. And then we go into damage. Uh, color green, okay. It's a nice color. Stone wall is done. Okay, these steel furnaces are going to give me the, uh, once I place them all, the full belt of iron. Things should go really quickly. Um, if I add more. No, it doesn't make sense to me. There is something here. It's not on the radar. That's the only reason they are attacking. I can try and go find it. Or I can ignore it. Just place a, a thing here, sure.
You guys think this is going to be fixed in Factorio 2.0? The light is on the right, but the shadow is also on the right. What is making the shadow right now? Are you sure you're not polluting though? No, I am polluting. What do you mean? I am polluting. There's a lot of trees. That's the difference between the the trees and no trees that we were doing in the in the previous run. Of course I'm polluting. Um I'm just not or are you saying that like am I not polluting these guys? I'm pretty sure I'm not polluting them yet. And I was definitely not polluting them before. Alright, I'm out of ammo on that direction. Oh no. Here they come. And then... Yeah, things soon. Have I looked at the pollution tab? Yes, I did. I'm not going to see any useful information there, though. I mean, actually, I might see useful information there. Pollution. This means that I started polluting a new spawner here. But I think, judging by this graph, because of, because of how like linear it is, that is still me polluting the same nest, this one. Alright, I'm about to die if I don't do the automate the uh, the bullets right now I mean I can handcraft them a little more Spawner tooltip has some info. It has the information about the uh, evolution. Yes. I can hover it. It says evolution factor 0.10, 100% small biters. Still, I'm not making it to the over there. My turret is doing okay. Yeah, there is definitely something uh, over here. We have an expansion over here, directly over here. You see how this is blinking? This is the expansion. I'm just not sure how long ago it appeared.
There you go. There's th exactly one nest here. Okay, here we go, guys. This one we can actually destroy. Because it's easy. It's only one of them. <laughs> punching only? <laughs> punching only death world. <laughs> That's a fun challenge, I guess. Yeah, I should have crafted the uh, the shotgun to spend less, but I, I don't think that ammo matters that I spend there. I don't think it matters, but let's do a shotgun in addition. You should not be able to use your pickaxe and biters when you run out of ammo, it's bullet only. I should not be able to deconstruct something when I want to move it. I need to actually shoot it down, right? Is that what you're saying? I was making this uh, for a different reason. I guess they go here. Also carve items from raw materials using bullets. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Am I making the turrets yet? I am. I'm, I am. Hold on. The 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 thing is coming through. Sometimes this one. This is going to be the first. I said this is going to be the first automatically built turret. Nice. I just need a little more iron coming through. Oh shit! That's not a good thing. Look at that attack. Walk. Sure, it is all of ammo too. Okay. I really need those turrets. Give me all the iron. I'll handcraft them. That was a big attack.
But I have three bullets for these three turrets. That should be enough, right? For a little bit. <clears throat> Heavy armor. Let's do that too. That armor can go on the ground. Alright, fine. I'll make a chest for it. Mm. Oh, here's a big chest for it. Heavy armor. Physical projectile damage is also here. Nice. How much do I need for the defenders? A hundred. I can just handcraft it. I think. It's not that hard, right? Um, okay, anyway, let's actually stop the research until I have the, uh, the defenses. Alright, ammo is important. It's one of the most important things, so we're going to do it directly over here. Um, right, so for one of these... We can do three of those. Right. Yeah, and then we also need the copper and steel in addition. There you go. That's the ammo production. Just need to connect the copper here. And then the steel too. Uh, there's a big attack group here. We're out of ammo. Uh, I just need the steel uh, smeltery. Proper one. Why 
high turret. Yeah. Two turrets down. Ah, uh, it's going to be okay soon. I'm almost producing the ammo automatically. A shotgun? Yeah, shotgun exists in this game. It's cool, right? Can you just give me a moment, please? I'm not doing this. Whatever. Yes, but it uses shells. Shotgun uses shells, that's a fact. You are not wrong. Ah, let's do it without the output priority. Okay, we have fully automated the armor production. I have even made more turrets. Nice. Your re-rooted iron could be re-rooted even more. I didn't re-root. Oh, you mean like, I mean, yeah, I could, I could, I could, I could, I could. I should, because this... Uh, no, that's exactly how much I need for this four fern. If I need more, then I could do more. Whatever. Should be good enough. The ammo is coming, as you can see. Steel is being smelted. Ammo is here. We mean arm place at the ammo maker. Makes an extra bend. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I like the bends. Bends are cool, right? Okay, now I want to wait a little bit until until this thing is working better. Uh, I want to upgrade these furnaces maybe too. Uh, 
And I'm no longer using any stone furnaces. That can all be converted into the boilers later, I guess. Okay, yeah, the iron started coming through. Very nice. The research... Should I continue the research? No, I think not yet. Not yet. I think not yet, but what I should be doing is I should start crafting... I'm just going to craft the walls here, this 100 walls, and then we have the ammo, the last piece for the military sciences, the grenade, and we can probably just research this really quickly and start testing it. Because if I can just clear the biter nests, then that's going to be easy mode, right? <laughs> Evolution is 12%. This is uh, very different from the desert. Should research the um, automation too, maybe quickly to upgrade my assemblers immediately too. Okay, this is also no longer needed. Don't have that much ammo. Let's work on this over here. This is the stone production. I'm just going to do this. Uh, get the coal some way here. Mission two, nice. This is going to be the wall.
Anything else that's useful? Let's do circuitry, let's do gates. I don't know. Actually, bar is the thing that I should be going for. I barely used any iron from my starter patch. This game is easy. And then I will do the damage upgrade for sure. Now I think I can do that. Did that start working? Ah, uh, shit, hold on. I did a little bit wrong. Over here. Um, I meant to have a chest. Like that. Alright. Grenade. Um, I'm just going to put the grenades into a chest to here. For the first signs. High speed, yo, 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 yo. What's up? Hmm. Okay, so for the military science, the science is going to be going this way. Science, uh, military, and black. Going to do that here. That's just for now. Have that. One, two, three. Actually, I don't even need to do that. I'm just going to, like, put the things in. There we go. Not even flamers. It's going to be rough. Yeah, this is the third attempt to the first two. I tried to do that and also do the desert. The desert got me, though. <laughs> Might try that again in the future. If I die here, I think I might like alternate the forest and the desert. Forest is the, be the beginning of the forest is too easy. I don't like how easy it is here for now. We need to suffer, and I don't feel the suffering. You know. Ah, uh, the circuitry is done. Nice. And you did a death world. You used your mods, Cities of Earth. The rivers created some natural choke points and made it very fun to defend. The uh, Cities of Earth 
You did that on the death world? I thought you were doing the just the normal. It's cool though. Yeah. Or did you do uh, the death world before on the same cities of Earth too? And you're doing uh, a new playthrough on that same thing. Did you finish it also recently? I think last time I checked you did something else. Rampant too. Rampant create landfill when they die, which ruined my defenses. That was rough. Alright. Yeah, rampant is going to happen at some point too. Uh, I need more copper. I see the issue. I need more copper. I just put all the miners. Should I put all the miners? I think we should be fine. I think we will be fine if I do that. grenades okay uh how many do we need by the way we need like 50 or something right yeah 50 grenades and 50 uh, piercing rounds it's like nothing <clears throat> is this normal death world well, except for the limitations that I put for myself, yes. Just the default death world preset. Alright, I need to increase the ammo production for sure. Let's do a proper factory. Now that I'm stable, kind of, this gives me a little bit, but I need to do a proper one. And also, speaking about the proper one, let's upgrade this over here to also have steel. Because I need... The um, assembly machine two. There you go. More power is another thing. Alright, now I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> Something can happen because I don't have my perimeter.
uh, free Udemy account at work. I wanted to check something about Azure. So I tried to see some courses. There were many, but I enrolled to one with Indian accent. I sometimes have trouble with Indian accents. So this way I will learn two things, maybe. <clears throat> Good luck. I prefer learning by not watching videos, but by reading. Watching video is really hard to like change the speed. You know? If you set the video to two times, you're not going to really... I mean, two times sometimes is understandable, but... But more than that, probably is not already. But you can always skip through some text. That is easy. I'm going to die. No, we're fine. I am out of power. Okay, we really need to increase the uh, <laughs> the useless things have been researched. I mean, they are. I'm going to use them at some point. But like, yeah, maybe maybe going for the gate immediately wasn't the the best thing. But we're fine. Thirty grenades. All right. Um. Now this doesn't look good. That's from the bottom there. Okay, good. Let's work on power. I need iron. And gears. Boilers. I think you need fuel, not engines. Uh, wait, what? No, I will need engines too. It's because of the lack of engines, I got a small amount of fuel too. There you go. This is what I want. Right? Right. That's good. Um... Okay, 
And then we do this. Okay. This thing is out of ammo. Give it more. This should now... Start working. I can add more engines here. I did plan. The only thing that... Yeah, I don't even need the cliff explosives here. There's uh, even enough space here. Forty-three grenades. Nice. Okay. So the ammo is not produced quicker just because of the lack of copper, right? I just need more copper. Just need more copper. Let's do that. Copper. Okay, except for the ammo, I have everything. Uh, in good amounts, I think. Except for the black science automation, maybe. Because why not?
<laughs> so now we have 20. 20 lamps. That's good. Alright, the final assemblers that needs to be upgraded are these four. I have 65 grenades, which should be enough for me to research the defenders. Let's do that. And then I just need a little bit of ammo here. I have a lot of ammo. A hundred. Not a lot. I guess. But enough to do the research. Okay. Uh, automobilism. Let's research the defenders first and then go into the upgrade of the damage. And then there is a car. Uh, yeah, sure, let's do the car. I have other things to do first. But the defender is going to be crafted by what? Piercing round magazines, electronic circuits and gears, okay. Three a second, eight damage. We're still on the first try, easy, right? Yeah, right. This is almost out of ammo again. Logistics 2 is researched. The car is going to be done quickly. How about we just craft the car really quickly? Ew. Oh shit, that is not good. Did I not have a... a turret here? Maybe I didn't.
No, I don't need like many engines for myself actually. Then I don't know why I did that. I don't actually need a lot of engines. I just have two. Uh, for the science, I will build a separate one later. Uh, I forgot the ammo in. Okay, we're about to see if defenders are good, by the way. I should have all the science needed here. I think. Am I slow on the gears? The one gear? Oh, the one gear is not enough. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just need another inserter for the gear. And I need to place that. Uh, turrets back. That one just destroyed. Put your turrets on the hill so the biters won't reach. Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. Not a bad idea. Sounds like cheating. <laughs> Alright. Um... So the defender is going to allow me to have only four follower bots. That's the uh that's like the thing. That's the limitation. Right? When you do the turret creep, you can place what however many turrets you want, but with the follower bots, I can only have four followers. This upgrade is going to give me five more. I feel like this upgrade is going to be really important. Five more is like a lot. It's more than doubling the amount that I can do. Research more followers? Yeah, I should. I should also actually defend my base. But actually, I will not need to defend my base. If I, if I can kill this nest, then I will not need to defend my base, actually. Right? And also the damage upgrades. Yeah, the damage upgrades also. Uh, the weapon shooting speed also affects the bots, as I understand. It's affected them even more. If I research the weapon shooting speed, then... Wait, hold on. The shooting speed? No, no, no. It does upgrade. Yeah, there you go. Over here, the defender. Plus 10%. It actually means that they do 10% more damage. Because they don't use the ammo, actually. So that's why this upgrade is good for them. I should be doing that. If I am going to use the bots. This is 10% more damage. Easy. Because they don't actually use the ammo. They are only crafted themselves using the ammo. Um... Yeah, we should actually I will do the shooting speed first then. And then shooting speed versus shooting damage is literally doesn't matter if I use the bots, I think. 
Uh, but for the turrets, it matters more the damage. Okay. We once had a problem in Ribbon World in multiplayer. Couldn't get to resources due to a huge biter nest. I invented suicide cars. Two players get into a car, spawn full of robots, and we drove into the nest. Hold on. Isn't... Hold on. If you do the multiplayer, isn't the car already dealing damage when it... Um, when it drives into something? What if you to what if you take like fifty players and every player gets into its own car, and then we shoot the nests with cars? Every single car is going to do a little bit of damage, and the nest is going to be destroyed. Problem solved, easy. No need to thank me for the idea. Okay, 95%. Am I ready? What do, what is needed to craft them again? Piercing round and then gears and circuits. Okay. They're not really crafted very hard. Because if I can only have four followers, I can just handcraft them. I don't even need them to be auto-crafted, right? I just need the ammo. Alright, I just need the, whoa, the base to be protected here. Where did they come from? I have the turrets. In places. Let's try three. Oh, hold on. It's because the ammo is over there. 20, there you go. Hmm. I was tried spawning spider trons full of rockets and just sending them forward in group. That was fun. Okay. All right. Just need to make sure that this is holding. Um, let's get rid of everything that I don't need, maybe, in case I die. Am I going to die? I probably am not going to die. If I'm going to use them from inside my car, I'm not going to die. They last for... 45 seconds, which is a lot, right? I'm just going to shoot them from inside the car. The car also has the... Uh, the thing. Let's see. Mm, they seem not too bad. Alright, let's try sending them into the... the thing. Ah, shit. Maybe not a good, good idea. Hold on. Why is my base being destroyed? One second. That needs to be fixed. I don't know how it happened. Okay, we can try again. Shooting speed. This is going to be even better now because of the shooting speed. I did not even touch the nest though. Should I should I use the car or should I not? Let's try without the car first. Not too bad. There's one nest down.
There's two nests down. Okay, it's actually easy. I just need to remember to respawn them. I wish they could there was a way to like respawn them automatically. If I have them in my inventory. Alright, I need to remember that I don't have fish. And my base is being destroyed again, amazing. There's literally the turrets here. You guys, go to the turrets next time, okay? That's not nice. And to remember what was here. This is furnaces. I don't even have furnaces on me. The smallest ribbon you that you that is technically possible is the nine, because the rocket silo is nine, right? So I guess that's what I'm going to be doing when I'm doing the ribbon world. Or is it ten? Is it 10 or 9? I think it was 9, right? Need more ammo. Okay, I'm actually going to just destroy the nests here. It's easy. Uh, I just wanted to rebuild the base here. Really quickly. Something was in that chest. I think nothing useful. Like, just some stone, probably. What was this over here? Oh, the grenades. The grenades they killed, that's... Not the best. News. But whatever. More things are being destroyed at the top. Nine by nine since the update sometimes. What is it? What does it mean sometimes? It's not always nine by nine. Sometimes the rocket silo is at ten by ten. It's RNG. Oh my god. Can they stop attacking? I'm trying to kill them. Their bases. And they start attacking at the same time. From all the directions. Uh, I can just stop all the research. That's one of the things that I can do. And I have another damage upgrade. Welcome to my daily gameplay. <laughs> Alright. It's going to be easy. This nest is almost dead. I can go there and finish it. If only the guys are going to stop attacking. Please. Please. I need to go and finish that nest over here. 
Let's increase the uh, damage speed again. It's going to be another upgrade. I think I like this more. I, I like I actually like this more than turret creeping. This is better. I like it. Because I don't need to like deconstruct the turrets. I don't need to deconstruct them afterwards. I don't need to put the ammo inside. This is good. I like it. This is OP. We need to disallow that on the next run. Ooh, I guess. Mm -hmm. Uh, 24, okay. I'm just going to, if this is okay, then I'm just going to quickly kill another nest. Creative world? We're about to have a creative world here because, like, these biters are going to stop being an issue. We don't even have the mediums yet, like... What's the evolution currently? 20%, we're about to have them. You see how easy this is with just four followers? Imagine what can I do with five more followers? These things are OP. If I increase, if I research this, five more followers, this is twice as much damage. Why is everything in this game OP? Okay. Okay, don't die, don't die though. Hold on, hold on, hold on, don't die, don't die, don't die. Let's wait a little bit. <clears throat> Just eat some fish. No, fish is forbidden, big early. Here's the rules. Fish is OP, everyone knows that. We use things that we don't know that are OP yet. I mean, now we know, but um, I didn't know before, you know? And to go make my base. 
Would you like to check your actual for a lower limit? Alright, I actually, I, yeah, I didn't try making more than four, but I'm pretty sure my actual limit is for the bots we see in the bottom. The amount that is currently following me. Hold on. I guess I need to kill, kill that base first at the top. Uh, bonus over here. The follower bot count. Oh, five. Hold on. It's actually five, not four. So the orig originally when you start, you can have one before you have any research then. So I, so I can do one more of these and do a little more damage. All right. I saw it because, like, the research said plus four, and, and, like, before the bots, I could have zero, because I didn't have bots. That's why I thought I have a maximum of four. Yeah, and when, when you have the maximum, it says green. It says green, right? And if I shoot one more, then one of them is just dying immediately. The oldest one, I'm assuming. But Turtles has additional bonus to damage. Not sure if follower bots applied on it i'm pretty sure it doesn't but the follower bots are better in the other way because like the turrets they have additional damage but the uh, but the follower bots they have the shooting speed applied and they don't use more ammo because of that not sure if that matters but like it, it matters for the amount of iron that you're going to spend. Right? Shooting speed applies to turrets too, but they are going to shoot more bullets because of that. So you're going to deal the same damage per iron. It is more DPS though, yes. Still, for the turrets, that's true. The turrets are better. But this is already enough. Like, this is the first level. I guess not the first first. Because I had some upgrades and I'm going to have another upgrade right now. Alright, I need to fix my base though. Uh, this and that are the last things that need to be fixed. Let me craft more of these bots. Easier to spawn 100 follower bots, though. There is a shooting speed of 4 a second. You can spawn 4 bots a second. I guess that's the limitation. Compared to the uh, landmines, for example. Landmines, you can place 1 every tick. Actually, even more, right? So you can place 60 a second <laughs> of the landmines. Mm -hmm. Bullets only was your natural playstyle, just no turret grip restrictions. Yeah. Turret grip is like OP. We were in the X1000, we were doing landmines, which is why I didn't want to do them. The flamethrowers, we were doing that. Uh, and, uh, and, and before the flamethrowers, we were fighting the big biters with the yellow ammo and... And zero damage upgrades. With turret creeping, with spamming turrets near the nests, you can kill big biters with yellow ammo with no upgrades. It's not... I mean, it's a little bit hard, but... It's possible. Boom. Um. 
boom, boom. <clears throat> and here is another upgrade. Twenty percent more damage. Hold on, isn't shooting damage? 10%? No, it's also 20%. So I basically have already researched the plus 30, plus 20, so plus 50%. Uh, actually, these things get multiplied, so even more than that, right? They're different per level. The first one is 10%. And then the second one is 20, and then it goes 20. And then the infant ones are plus 40, okay? And cannon shooting shell solution speed for the uh, tank is plus 150. Nice. Alright, I just need to automate the military science next, and... But before that, I'm just going to kill all the things, so that I don't need the perimeter, and I can chill and play creative mode. Right? Um, what needs to be fixed here? I'll go and kill that nest immediately. Just realized one thing. Launching a rocket to home is... Bullshit. Best option is advanced civilization. Is to wait for rescue. In the factory lore, you actually want to get home? Is that what you tell? what they tell you in the tutorial? I thought that factory was about ecologically destroying foreign planets. Well, deck with a gifted sub. Here. Yeah. Alright. I kind of wish we stayed on the desert, though, guys. Because of how easy this is. You see, guys, how easy this is? We should have stayed on the desert. And tr tried a couple more times to, to beat the desert. Alright, Desert Death World is one of the next playthroughs then. I need to do it once. Because like, I didn't even need to do anything about my restrictions there. I didn't even- I, I, I wouldn't even get to flamethrowers on that run. Yeah, no, I think- I think- no, if, if we talk about the flamethrowers then it would be exactly the time. If I was going the doing to do the research, I would be exactly at the at the place to have flamethrowers.
Does it start our terrible idea in Death World? No, they are a wonderful idea. We just need to figure out how to do that. That was fun. Right? Uh, how do these follower bots choose their target, by the way? Can I somehow affect who they shoot if I shoot something? Do they shoot something closer to my cursor too? By any chance? Probably not, right? Probably just the closest target to them. Probably just the closest target, but unlike other things, it seems like they can change the target. Because the speeders, I mean the enemies, and I think the normal turrets also, but I'm not sure, they don't change the target. Because over here, these last two worms, they switched it. Unless I saw something. New pole is up. How many push-ups should Kuvi do for each subscription? <laughs> but my but my chest hurts. All right, back to chilling. Do you know who else changes the target? Who? Your chest hurt, hurts more? Me with a push-up cost? Okay. Alright, finally time to fix the base properly. Uh, do I have the steel furnaces? No, but I can make them. Inserters. What is that? Where did where did this guy come from? There was nothing here. Don't think I'm polluting that nest. Right. And why do I not do I not have the power? I thought I have the everything here. No input fluid. Oh, okay. They probably broke the offshore pump or a pipe. Yeah, a pipe. This needs... Oh, I have that. I have a lot of that. A burner inserter is missing.
Oh, all right. <clears throat> How many times did you die on the last run? Uh, I think I didn't die. Uh, on the last run. On the last run, my base died. But I didn't die myself. Uh, and uh, on the first run, I died myself. And the base didn't die. And I decided to restart. So that's why it's number three now. Unless you are saying the uh, 1000. Yeah, X1000. I died like 250 times. Something like that. <clears throat> okay, the iron is not working fully because I need to pick up this stuff from this belt. One mile of deaths was your locomotive on your map killing Kuvi on his map. <laughs> you should research construction bots ASAP to get ghost images uh, from destroyed entities. Uh, yeah, but I don't plan to have anything destroyed, right? I'll just kill these nests, and they will not attack me because of that. Speaking about research, I should continue doing the research. I'm not automating the uh, black science yet. Let's research the uh, energy, and then a railway, and then automated rail. That. Food handling. Then we go into the oil processing. Probably. Unless I have the black science automated by then, then I am going to first um, research more upgrades. Which are going to be useful because we're going to have more mediums. I'm I'm not having too much trouble with them, but like, yeah. 25% evolution is currently. Alright, let me... Give me one second.
Oh, it's stone brick. I'm not... I'm not saving stone brick. I should. <clears throat> Gold belt seems broken here. Mm -hmm. Where? Oh, over here, yes. Thanks. I'm not having enough power. We, sh we should like set the goal for today what should it be because like we stream for 10 hours already because of all the restarts what should be the goal <clears throat> i can get to oil Maybe. And the oil is over there, and also over here. I wonder if I can kill this nest too. This is bigger, but... Probably I will be able to with the increased follower count. Like, five more. Pretty sure this should be enough. All right, so we don't need this. We just need to send the ammo then directly to the science production, right? We need the ammo, we need the uh, grenades, and we need the walls. Those are the things. I think we're doing that research really quickly. Hmm. Okay, military science. Uh, I'm just wondering how fast are we making? I'm making 21 a minute, which is uh, 40 science a minute, right? Science, which is more than enough for me. Uh, I think it's like the grenades. The grenades probably is this longest one that I need to increase. I can have more crafters for that. Uh, let's put the ammo in the chest, by the way, anyway. I want that in the chest over here. Hmm. All right. And then I think we're going to start we need to find another iron ore. 
And together with trains, I think I'm going to start making a new base, basically. And that's going to happen next time then, right? I don't think I even need to go to the oil. We're just going to have trains collecting the items uh, from the uh, certain spots. And we start making a new base. I think I even tear all of that down. I mean, not all of that, but like... Eh, we'll see. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure what I want to do yet. Not sure what to do yet. But the power poles, I can... Do those right now. Uh, steel. Needs to be increased, probably. Let's do like that. I'll just do a little bit more for now. Need brick. So I'm not going to go into the fluid handling even. I'm just going to make a new base like that. And since I have uh, incre started doing that, we can do this. And then this, and then that. And then this, and then that. And this should make me like, really OP, right? Maybe. Do -do -do -do. Making four a minute. Ten a minute. Am I missing something? Yeah, I'm limited on by the grenade, I'm pretty sure. And also the power. Power, power, power. Three, four. Oh, the left side is not working. Why not? Why is this not working? Output full? Oh, because it connect because I didn't reconnect the power, I guess. There we go. Da -da 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 -da. Actually, I had a lot of power. Okay, the rail is researched. The only thing that I want is to actually start making those. For those things, I will need more. Steel. Last time you checked, was 10 plus 1. No, I'm pretty sure the result was 5 plus 1. You cannot find the results of the previous votes. The previous polls. 
There should be a, like, command for it. But I, I don't know. I don't know how to use Twitch. Don't ask me. I'm just a streamer. <laughs> I came here for... for these. Yes. Uh, inserters. Robot count has been researched. Okay, I will put more uh, assemblers. Do I have assemblers on me? I do. Or assemblers for this stuff. Let me change, change it up a little bit here. Mm, that's not going to work. Hold on. Let's just do two. Two is twice better than what I had before. Found it, pop out, could be Paul. Is it a secret thing? Yeah, five plus one. Uh, okay. So this should do just twice as much, hopefully, military science spec. I'll put the grenades here manually too. It's not secret, it can be using overlays to embed on streams as HTML source. Well, I mean secret by not documented. Uh, by secret, I mean not documented. It probably is, though. Found in documentation? Okay, good. Okay, I see an expansion. The expansions are the only things that I need to watch out for. Oh shit, that's scary. But also not really, because I can do this on a car.
And then we need to check pollution sometimes. See if there is new expansions. I'll be streaming tomorrow. Oh, if I don't sleep through the entire day, then yes. Follower count is about to get to 10. All right. So with 10, I wonder how, how good are we going to be. Uh, probably we'll craft a few more for that. Watch out, this is Peterland. Yes, Peters are going to be a problem. Especially when we are going. The evolution is 27%. I think the medium speeders start at what? At 40? Grenades are good for large groups? Yeah, we're like trying to do the bullet only. And I think grenades are going to be the disallowed for that uh, but large groups are not going to happen anyway large groups are only there when they are attacking right now uh, this large group was there be only because that was an expansion inside my pollution cloud but since we are playing in the forest the most logical thing to make the game easier is just killing them as soon as we as, uh, as the pollution cloud reaches them So yeah, I can do I can do ten follower bots now. We should add no grenades there, right? To that command. I think it's gonna be fine with no grenades. Grenades are only good against like the small ones anyway, right? Bar three, Barterio, I guess. Thank you for the follow. The most important thing here is to dodge the spit of the worms, and it's the here. Here is the hard part about. Here is the hardest part about the forest, guys. It's actually the fact that it's impossible to see speed on top of the green grass. There would be a setting that helps. Is there a setting? For color blindness? Or what? Is it graphics? Color filter? I don't... I mean... I see the difference, but like... It doesn't really fix much, I think, for me, for my eyes. Actually, too, you meant to play without decoratives. 
Uh, it's not the decoratives. It was, uh, I think, the... Oh, I mean, is this the decorative? Maybe. This over here. Alright, not doing that. That sounds like a cheat. I can try, though. Where is the, the thing? Decorative. Show. Red. Firm. Oh, no. The game is so ugly now. <laughs> and I think the color is still very similar. So it doesn't really help much. Also, by killing them, spawner kills 26% goes towards the evolution factor, actually. <laughs> Hold on, more the pollution already. If I kill a couple more of this, it's going to be mattering more than the time. Which, I mean, makes sense. We need to find the, the ore patch. I guess the most important part is when I am going to take the next ore patch, I need to clear all the biters around that. And here it is. This is the one. It was the big nest. Well, it was relatively big. I guess this, for example, except especially since this one is a double, is a bigger one. But yeah, I'm not really having any trouble. And like I said, also, like, one of the ideas is that you can hop into a car and you'll be a lot safer because of that. Right? Just need to watch for the rocks and trees, I guess. Here's some medium worms, though, because we are not in the... Uh, not very close to the spawn anymore. So medium worms can be a problem if I they deal more damage. Do we deal damage to them? I'm not sure. about to die. Ah, shit. Okay, well, I should not have done that. Because one of the rules is that we cannot reclaim our body. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I don't know what I had on me. But probably I had like 50... Uh, Uh, probably had like 50 electric mining drills. Thanks for the bits. Okay, let me just craft more of those things. Yeah, that's worth at least one push up. <laughs>
I think I'm just going to scout the area around. Uh, the car is still there. I can make another one. Steel and iron. <clears throat> Hold on, do I have the filter right now? This seems like a different color than usually. Color. What is that color? A nice pink. Water reminder more or less often. Uh, as, uh, as you wish. If it is too often, I will tell you. If it is too often, I will disable the uh, the channel point reward. I'm okay. You like doing that? Do that. Hold on, no, the colors are different. Did I not discard the settings? I did not change the settings. There is some color filter now, right? Tritana Tia. Alright. I don't know. Is this nicer colors, though, than before? I, I can't tell. I see the difference, though. It's a little annoying. You know what annoying is? Though, not the color change. But it seems to me like there is a one frame delay on that color filter. Is that just me? Hold on, is it visible on stream? I think it's not visible on stream. It's visible on my uh, monitor though. None. Confirm. Do I see it then? Now, this does not give me any side effects. Do you know how, like, there is this, um... Uh... It's like in the, in the windows. <laughs> when you drag a window and it leaves a trail, that thing happens for that oil patch. When I have the Tritanopia on. It's a one frame delay that I can see. Well, not even one frame, I'm not sure. Probably one frame here, yeah. Is it not visible on the stream for sure? I don't think I see it on the stream. But I see it here. Are you colorblind? <laughs> I'm not colorblind. It, it, I'm not talking to you about the color. I'm talking about the fact that there is a trail behind this thing. There is no trail on anything else, only a trail after the oil. That's so weird. Alright, let's go finish that nest. 
And then do a little bit more. I guess this goes into the what number one then. This is me fighting. And then I will have the car here too. I didn't I forgot to have the um the armor. Did I go get the armor? Or am I okay without the armor? Let's let's fight from inside the car, then I will be okay for sure. Hundred kilo ten push ups for the book. <laughs> it's a discount. I agree. It is a little bit too cheap. But that's only for today. Let's do more from inside the car. It doesn't really work super well from inside the car, actually. Because they go too quickly through the nest. Can they just shoot and stay there? No, 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 that's a rock. Hold on. That was a rock. <laughs> Don't go into the rock. Okay, the car is about to die. Our defender is still OP. Well, they are a little worse now, but, right, but, but I'm going to upgrade them, right? So they're going to be better. I guess. And I'm going to have more followers. And things. I guess they are less OP now. We'll see how it goes. A little later. Um, I'm just killing this nest. And that is going to be the iron. Which is going to start a new base next time. That's the plan for today. I guess. No cliffs? No, there is cliffs. There's a cliff.
probably uh, should craft them automatically if I'm using them a lot. <clears throat> Since push-ups are inevitable part of the stream, I think we should set up some push-up pool and just regularly take off the pool like 10 once every 30 minutes. Are there any multiple ways to add to the pool? Huh? You never use shotguns? Are they worth it? Uh, yeah, they are in certain situations. If you want to save on the ore, mostly in the beginning of the game. And then the combat shotgun, I'm not sure yet. I will see that after we get there. Yeah, so the shotgun, like the shotgun shell, is just two iron and two plates, and it deals 12 times 5 damage, so 60 damage, right? 60 damage for two iron, so 30 damage for one iron plate. And this one deals 5 damage for four iron plates. Um, so yeah, when you are low on resources you might want to use a shotgun to kill a nest for example <clears throat> is it normal ammo 10 bullets uh the shotgun shell is also 10 bullets So I okay, I, I guess it, it means that it's not 30 damage per iron, but it is 300 damage per iron, and this one is just uh, five damage for four iron, 50 damage for four iron, right? Uh, okay, we have another research done. I'm going to re remove that filter. I don't like it. Twenty-five bots. All right, and also I forgot about the armor. Yes, armor is important. Do 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 Alright, let's go fight more. But be careful in your base. Yeah, because the shotgun attacks everything, including your own things. But it's not as bad as a grenade. I don't think I have ever killed anything with a shotgun, but with a grenade? For sure. I think it's better on foot. Because I can like target certain things to die easier. Also over here I'm going to use the shotgun because it just deals more damage I think than my... It's faster to kill this with a shotgun here. I'm targeting the nest right now. With a shotgun. I think it's better. A little bit. You know what's worse with this uh, combat bots? You see this pit over here, right? So right now we can see it. But uh, especially when, when I hold them in my hand, this whole ground becomes green. And it's, it's a little harder to see now. Inside this circle. I guess I should just not... 
have it in my hand all the time. Yeah, and that's with normal shells, yeah. So, like, I, I actually imagine the combat shotgun being good for that reason. If we go on foot like that. The hardest part is this medium worms. They are doing a lot of damage. Are the worms also targeting me instead of the followers? Seems like it. Actually, it makes it easier, because it makes the shots of the worms more predictable. I can just... If they are just shooting towards me, whoever enters the rage first gets the love. But it's most likely me, right? Alright, chill, chill, chill. I was the destroyer guard also, so... No advice on this. The trick is swinging the boss to make it work. Yeah, it's probably a lot easier with the exoskeleton though. Like, with the car, the car is a little bit too... ...fast. But the character is too slow. Do these robots fall off late game? Never built them? Yeah. I also never built them, so I have no idea. That's why we're doing this challenge, to figure out if they are good. And uh, whether or not they fall off, we will see. But we can upgrade them. The weapon shooting speed increases their damage. The weapon damage increases their damage. And then you have the follower count, which increases their damage by you having more bots following you. <clears throat> and then you can upgrade them to the destructors and destroyers, yeah. But destructors are lasers and uh, destroyers are electric damage, which is means that the upgrades need to be from scratch or... Completely unupgradable, the destroyer. I think I will try to just stick to the defenders, because this is the bullet only. That's what we called this challenge, so yeah. I can try sticking to those. Wait, happened to the desert base? It is gone. <laughs> The desert base is gone.
Hmm. Does robot speed affect them? I guess not. All right. I'm just going to do a little bit more because I'm touching these with my pollution cloud. Just a little bit more. My evolution is 37%. 40% because of the spawner kills. So I should not kill like too much. Oh, that... Okay. Hold on, hold on, don't die. I was almost dead there. Yeah, we can, like, shoot the bots like this into the nests, I guess. That's how we can work. And then the and then the worms are not even a problem for me, right? I can stay out of range of the, of the worms this way. Easy. This makes them even more OP if you use them like this. Okay. I'll go a little bit to the top too. My car is dead. Whoops. Because I hit the cliff. Alright, the walk of shame to the base, and then I think it's going to be it for today. Good, short stream. Short stream, ten and a half hours. Yeah. Alright. Do you guys think I will die later in this world? Because I'm not going to use landmines or flamethrowers. I think I think we're not going to have a problem. I think this is going to be easy actually. Yes? Yes, I'm going to die? Or yes, I'm going to survive? Yes. Okay, got it. You guys don't believe in me. Alright. Save. Bullet. I predicted we will launch rocket on Friday, attempt number three. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you guys for watching. This is now the end. Who do we raid today?
There's a person who just started a new run, something. Oh, it's seriously, it's... It's... Started pathetic, and it got more pathetic. Cycle or McIntyre? Cycle, you interested in my death vault, in my failed attempts? <laughs> Alright, let's wait, Cycle. Okay. See you guys next time. Thanks again for watching. Bye.